right. Karibu ni sana. It's yet another beautiful, beautiful Tuesday on the 26th of March 2024. We're going to be having such an amazing, amazing time hapa and Daniel Roche. I hope that you've had an amazing day yesterday. Kutoka tulipo wachana hapa and that you've had an amazing night and now we are here yet again to enjoy and to be glad about the goodness of the Lord. So tuko hapa and Daniel Roche, if you're joining us for the very, very first time, Daniel Hisho in Itwa Raushwa and it's on MBCI television number four. By the grace of God, tunabadilisha maisha. And today we're going to be having an amazing uh, outline for you kutoka uh, from the daily updates because you're a Kenyan and because of that you deserve to know what's happening in your country and then after that tutakuwa tukiingia ndani ya Tegasikio which is also going to be very amazing after that you're going to be getting into the topic of discussion and today we are going to be having Pastor Benjamin we are talking about a topic ambayo uh, it's a bit crucial but it's going to be very very engaging because leo ni siku ya relationships on Tuesdays inakuanga ni siku ya relationships now today we are going to be talking about dating as christians kwa sababu um, uh, during the dating period before you get married kuna ile time ya courtship and dating but as a christian for some very reason we don't really know we are going to understand today in akanga ni kama it's a sin so how are you supposed to date but date in a way that uh, that pleases God, you see. So, you know, Dr. Kotki on Galileo and Dr. Kotki handle the topic with the one Pastor Benjamin. After that, you're going to be getting into the today's inspiration and, of course, amazing, amazing songs. And uh, today, we're going to be having the segment Ya Mitindo. And uh, Daniel Mitindo, Mulekezi, Dr. Kotki on Galileo. Um, dining tables yes dining tables different types of dining tables ndani ya mitindo with the one sylvia wanja others karibuni sana my name is kahugu tutakuwa hapa mpaka pale 10 in the am there you go na kama vile ambavyo mwenzangu amekueleza ni kwamba kipindi cha leo kitakuwa ni kizuri kabisa ka mate is my very very good name you're a kenyan and because of that we deserve to know what is happening in your country kwa hiyo tunaingia moja kwa moja ili niweze kukujuza baada ya taarifa ambazo zimegonga vicha vya habari mbili kutoka hapa nchini Kenya na moja ya kimataifa na kufuatilia kupitia MBC Radio utaweza kuzipokea saa sita dhuhuri saa 10 la siri saa moja jioni na saa tatu siku kwa sababu Vinkim and the team wako ange kabisa kukujuza mambo kwa undani Serikali imefunga vilabu 1018650 vya kuuza vileo katika vita vinavyoendelea dhidi ya pombe haramu na dawa za kulevya. Kati idadi hiyo ba 1600 zilikuwa na leseni halali lakini ilibainika baa hizo zilikuwa zikikiuka sheria zinazodhibiti pombe. Vilabu vingine 1212150 vilivyofungwa vilikuwa havina leseni. Viwanda 14 vinavyotengeneza pombe ya makali kwa kutofuata sheria za nchi pia vimefungwa kwa mujibu wa waziri wa mambo ya ndani profesa Kidhure Kindiki akizungumza katika ziara yake katika gereza kuu la Kisi hapo jana waziri Kindiki alisema kwamba wakati huu serikali imethamiria kutokomeza tishio hilo kabisa kutumia sheria kwa udhabiti waziri huyo aliongeza kuwa vinywaji vyenye sumu na dawa zinginezo vinaangamiza watu wengi zaidi humu nchini profesa Kindiki amewataka wa Kenya na haswa vijana kujihusisha na shughuli zingine za uzalishaji mali badala ya kupoteza maisha yao kwa matumizi ya dawa za kulevya alisema kwamba kisingizio cha ukosefu wa ajira hakiwezi kutumika kuidhinisha aina ya tabia ambayo imekuwa ikishuhudiwa miongoni mwa vijana mijini na kule vijijini na kwenye habari nyingine ni kwamba Winfrida Mokaya Ameweza kuchukua wadhifa kama msajili mkuu wa idara ya mahakama hapo jana kufuatia kuapishwa kwake katika hafla iliyoongozwa na jaji mkuu Madha Kome. Jaji mkuu Madha Kome alimteua Mokaya kuhudumu kwa muhula wa miaka mitano na Momachi 19 mwaka huu siku moja baada ya tume ya huduma za mahakama JIC kuwafanyia mahojiano wagombea saba wa nafasi hiyo. Akizungumza wakati wa kuapishwa kwake Mokaya alisema kwamba arajitolea kuendeleza juhudi za kutengewa bajeti ya kutosha kwa idara ya mahakama na kutatua swala 
la ufadhili mdogo unaoendelea aidha aliahidi kusaidia majaji maafisa wa mahakama na wafanyakazi wa mahakama haswa mpango wa jaji mkuu wa mabadiliko ya kijamii kupitia upatikanaji wa haki katika hotuba yake katika hafla hiyo jaji mkuu Koome aliahidi kumuunga mkono mokaya ili kufikia lengo kuu la idara ya mahakama na katika habari za kimataifa mpenzi mtazamaji ni kwamba baraza la usalama la umoja mataifa limepitisha azimio la kutaka kusitisha mapigano mara moja huko Gaza baada ya Marekani kujiepusha kutumia kura ya turufu kubadili msimamo wake wa awali azimio hilo pia linataka kuachiliwa mara moja na bila masharti kwa mateka wote baraza hilo lilikuwa limekwa matangia vita vianze mwezi Oktoba na kushindwa mara kwa mara kukubaliana juu ya wito wa kusitisha mapigano hatua hiyo ya Marekani inaashiria kuongezeka kwa tofauti kati yake na mshirika wake Israel kuhusiana na mashambulizi ya Israel huko Gaza Washington imeikosea Israel kutokana na kuongezeka kwa idadi ya vifo huko Gaza ambapo zaidi ya watu 1030 wawili haswa wanawake na watoto wameuawa katika mashambulizi kulingana na Wizara ya Afya eneo hilo inoendeshwa na Hamas Marekani pia imeishinikiza Israel kuhakikisha kwamba msaada unafikishwa Gaza ambako inasema kwamba wakazi wote wanakabiliwa na kiwango kikubwa cha uhaba wa chakula. Umoja wa mataifa umeshtumu Israel kwa kuzuia misaada. Hukunayo Israel ikilaumu umoja wa mataifa ikiishtumu kwa kushindwa kutekeleza usambazaji wa msaada huo. Ni baadhi ya taarifa ambazo zimegonga vichwa vya habari and of course kama vile ambavyo nimekueleza ni kwamba ukifuatilia kupitia MBC Radio undani wa taarifa hizi utaweza kupokea kwa ndani zaidi na meantime tunaingia ndani katika sikio ndo kule nako pia tukaweze kujua mambo yako vipi Great. Ah uh, yeah now. Mm -hmm. Leo tuna tuko tutazungumzia mambo ya relationships and especially dating yeah. you know. Mm. Na vile ambavyo uh, I, I, not exactly Christians yeah. because we have Christians who are not believers. Mm. But for believers, yeah. you know, how are they supposed to do ama to go about dating mm. um, without kuonekana kana kwamba they are compromising, yeah. you know, maswala ya wakovu wao. How should it be done? Yeah. Because truth be told, you will not sleep, wake up in the morning mm. and you find your partner right there. Yeah. You know, there is work to be, to be done. done. Mm -hmm. There are coffee days to be, I don't know. Yeah. So today Pastor Benjamin atakuwa na, 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 na shed more light on that topic. Yes. Ndivo pia tujue, you know. How to go about it, mm -hmm. nini nini. There you go. Yeah. But now, mm -hmm. now that we are talking about relationships, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, let us talk about this guy. Ambe alikuwa ni tajiri mkubwa sana. Okay. You know, kuna kutajirika na sasa kuna kutajirika. Mm. Sasa alikuwa mitajirika. Okay. Tuweza tukasemi ya kwamba alikuwa a multi-billionaire. Nimtu ambaye alikuwa na hela nyingi. Mm -hmm. Sijuna ni ambaye alikuja hapa mgeni mm. na katupa oh ilikuwa ni kwenye financial monday mm -hmm. uh, Mr David Mwangi ambaye pia ni mchungaji yeah. uh, wacha hii wiki ambayo imepita na si hiyo nyingine i think last 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 monday but two mm -hmm. Na akataja tukio ambalo lilishuhudiwa kule India mm. la yule jamaa ambaye alikuwa anafanya sijuni ndio kutoa mahari ama ndio nini ama ni proposal ama ndio nini mimi kufuatilia sana lakini najua kama ulikuwa kwenye mitandao uliona mm -hmm. uh, jamaa ambaye kuna kitu ambacho napewa hapo okay. jamaa ambaye aliweza kualika ambako watu mashuhuri sana mpaka na waimbaji na all that process ika ika, ika cost uh, <laughs> so much money it's okay okay mm -hmm. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. jamaa ambaye kama ulikuwa unafuatilia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii, lazima uliona. Mm -hmm. Aliwalika mpaka waimbaji wengine ambao hatuwezi tukataja hapa, yeah. wakakuja ku, ku you know, kwa that dowry payment or something. Mm -hmm. Na Mr. Mwangi alikuwa anasema ya kwamba hiyo familia ni watu ambao ni matajiri sana kule India. Okay. So, huyu naye wataka sikio alikuwa ni tajiri kiasi hiyo. Okay. Lakini sasa alikuwa hajapata mtu wa kuoa. You know, mm -hmm. ana pesa nyingi, ana utajiri mkubwa mm -hmm. na utajiri wake ulikuwa ume, ume, umechanganyika na kazi ambayo mwenyewe ameifanya na sasa urithi pia kutoka kwa wazazi. Mm -hmm. You know, na wazazi wake walikuwa sasa wamefika ule umri wa kustaafu. Mm -hmm. 
Hivi kwamba sasa katika shughuli za kibiashara za hii familia wa katika backseat alafu akamwambia sasa wewe sukuma. Okay. Jaribu kuangalia mambo yalivyo hakikisha kwamba viwanda vyote ambavyo tumeanzisha tume, tume hapa hakuna hata kimoja ambacho kitakwenda chini. Chini ya uangalizi wako. Okay. You know? So wakamkabidhi mamlaka yote na wakasema kwamba kwa wafanyakazi wote ambao tumewaajiri kule awe ni meneja awe ni nani yule ambao unaona kwamba hafanyi kazi kwa njia ambayo inastahili ati kwa sababu anaona ya kwamba sisi tumeondoka you have all the powers to fire them okay. Okay? kwa sababu tunajua kuna wakati mwingine wakati ambapo utawala umebadilishwa unapata wengine ambao walikuwa pale katika utawala huo mwingine wanaona kana kwamba huu mwingine ambao umekuja hapa hautoshi mboga So wazazi wakamwambia ukiona mtu yeyote ambaye anakaa kana kwamba anakudharau katika majukumu yako mshie na akasema okay kwa hivyo mmenipa majukumu tume ah, yes na akajua sasa kama baba na mama wamesema ni mimi sasa hapa ni kufanya ka ya 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 wacha jamaa atengeneze faida ah. wacha jamaa jina lake lianze kujulikana maana yake babake ndiye alikuwa anajulikana sana uh-huh. baada sasa wakati ambapo alikuja akachukua sukani sasa akaanza kujulikana akaanza mara sijui ameapia wapi akaanza sijui mara sijui amefanya mikutano na nani uh-huh. mara sijui amekwenda kukutana na mfalme wa wapi yani akapata jina sana uh-huh. sana sana kwa sababu ya pesa sasa imefika wakati anataka kuoa uh-huh. you know na katika shughuli shughuli zake za kutembea kwenda katika makongamano sijui kwenda kuongea wapi sijui mara nini akakutana na huyu binti you know mzuri tu yuni yani 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 wale ambao wanasema kwamba wameumbwa wakaumbika unajua kila mtu ana urembo wake you know and that is why eh, ukiona fulani ni mrembo na mwingine hauni hivyo ye ni kwa sababu kuna kile ambacho unaangalia tofauti na kile ambacho unaona you know so kila mtu kuna vile ambavyo mtu ameumbwa na machoni kwa Mungu sisi wote tuko iko so akakutana na huyu dada lakini pasi sasa pia huyu uh, dada pia naye ametoka katika familia ya kitajiri lakini ukilinganisha utajiri wa kwao na wa huyu jamaa ni kama kulinganisha nini na nini ni kama kulinganisha Indian Ocean na Lake Magadi <laughs> okay mm. you know mm-hmm. so hawa wana pesa ndiyo lakini ukiwalinganisha na hawa yeah. hawa ni kama hawana kitu unajua kuna yeah. do you know their levels of kuna levels yes mm-hmm. their levels so anakutana huyu msichana mm. katika one of the conferences huyu msichana pia alikuwa amechaguliwa alikuwa anaongea kwa sababu pia naye amekuwa akipasua mambo mengine na nini na nini okay. na ni mtu ambaye anaheshimika sana ah mm. sasa wakati ambapo huyu msichana anaongea yule jamaa anamwangalia tu unajua sasa ameketi pale yeah. nini anamwangalia tu anaona mm. she's very beautiful mm. lakini also here ako sawa you know mm-hmm. na wakati ambapo binti ana huyu msichana anaongea so unajua unasoma ukiangalia hivi unasoma mm-hmm. so wanakutana kutana macho macho yeah. inakutana mpitana nini yeah. you know ukinodi hivi mnakutana mm-hmm. kama mnakubaliana and all that <laughs> yeah. so this guy became very interested na akasema yeah. kwamba huyu binti nitataka kumjua mm-hmm. zaidi ya yeye kuwa mnenaji katika hafla hii okay So kama unavyojua ni kwamba mm-hmm. baada sasa tumezungumza kila kitu sisi sijui nini mm-hmm. so kuna ile time inafikanga sasa sijui mara ni chai yeah. sijui sasa hapo sasa watu kusalimiana mm-hmm. mara kuna mtu ambaye anataka kupiga picha na wewe mm-hmm. mara kuna mwingine sijui anataka kuuliza swali gani yeah. so katika hiyo hali sasa huyu jamaa akawa amefocus mm-hmm. na this lady, lady. Uh-huh. na akasema huyu lazima niongee na yeye mm-hmm. so walipokutana ndipo akamuona finally wakakutana mm-hmm. and then walipokutana wakati ambapo wanamsalimia pia anaangalia vidole vya mkono yeah. ndipo aone kama oh, kuna, kuna pete. Pete. very akaona ya kwamba sioni ya engagement yeah. na sioni kama amefanya harusi mm-hmm. ama awe ni wale ambao wakioleka mm-hmm. ni wale labda wameoleka lakini pete kwao yeah, is not as important deal. so yeah so yeah. anajaribu kuangalia vizuri na mm-hmm. so kama hey hi, oh that was a great one oh yeah okay you know so mm-hmm. akaanza kusema of course i'm um, so and so akamwambia ah, really i know you i know already you know yes yeah. and then they started talking nini 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 so huyu dada ana compliment huyu mpaka nakumwambia vile ambavyo ameweza kujipatia jina mm-hmm. uh, katika ulingo wa kibiashara and all that and this guy is now there you know yeah, oh hey. you yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Ni> god mazi <laughs> you god know mazi. and all that and all that and yeah. all that 
you know, and then he's like, yeah, I think maybe after even this meeting, maybe to know a plan. As you said, you have to go to VP. Maybe to know that you have to get a job. You have to get a job. You have to So the lady was like, yeah. I would love to, yeah. but nivile ambavu kidogo, uh, ninakuende nje nchi, and I'll be there for some time. I'll be there for around six months. Um, yeah, so maybe when I come back, to uh, another schedule, and then we see mm. if, if we can have a meetup. Ah, and the guy is like, okay, well, when are you Where going? Where are you going? Yeah. Today. Today. All right. zote zimefanywa. Usha, 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 wakati mbago una, una nini? Cutting. Una, oh yeah, cutting. <laughs> Ukirafu yeah. tunguli nji wa subuhi, uh -huh. unaifanyanga, ha, ama kuna wengine wana ikunjaga alafu wana irusha pale, mm, yes, kaka, kaka, juu, ha, eh. you know, yeah. ama kuna wengine wana kuwana kakitu kakuifunga endo uh -huh. gara alafu, yes. yes. So, akasikia hopes zake zote, mm -hmm. but now, he has to act like a gentleman and all that, and, oh, yeah, yeah, it's good, all right, yeah. okay, where are you going to? So, Devo, the lady, akasema kule mbako, anakokuenda, jama akasema, oh, what a coincidence, because also, I think next week, hata mimi ndakuwa huko. Mhm. Mm I'm a fix kwa sababu sasa yeah. anaona kwamba huyu akienda huko. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. na maybe akue maybe she ain't dating. Alafu akifika kule akutana na mtu mwingine. There you go. Yeah. Na vile ambavyo anakaa. Fixed trip yenye haiku. inabidi. Amen. Sometimes you got to fix A moment things. of silence for men. You know, A moment of sometimes, silence. Sometimes hata kuna wakati ambapo unatembea hivi and then the lady ambao unamfikiria una, una, una nini mnakutana and then all of a sudden you change your direction. Unaanza kwenda sasa nyingine kwa nini? Oh yeah, hata hata ni mtu nilikuwa nafikia pale ndipo hata amevuka barabara wanagodhiana huko you know. And then you start now as you talk and what and what and wanataka kuuza sera. Eh eh. Eh, masa? Masa ni machache. Masa? Masa ni nini? Masa ni machache. Kujiona mpaka watu wakati mwingine mtu uh, you know amekuja, ameona umeingia kwenye hoteli, yeye hata ametoka kwa hoteli nyingine. Anakuja nyingine. Ameshiba hata ameshiba kabisa hata ametoka nje kwa And then kutoka anaona umeingia kwa hoteli nyingine anasema mm -hmm. my stomach behave. <laughs> Hatujakula. Ni ana ingi? Alama anajifanya sana ndipo amekusupport. Oh, hi. How are you? Hey. Are you good? Oh. That's nice. you're waiting for someone, and then you're like, No, I'm just here to have lunch. You know, I'm making a oh, that's good. How are you? And then they see, <laughs> you know, now I'm, I'm yeah. him. Kabla ingi hapo yeah. nini na kumbio, oh, maybe I can. So, Ndivo, ajari bukuwa na kama, Sarah, zinazia zika fanya kani ni? Kwa sababu, huwa ni kama kipindi, kama msimu wa campaign. Mm. You know, mm. now, jamaa mefiki sini ni? Safari. Kumbio, yeah. oh, next week, I'm, I'm coming to that place. You know, I don't know. Utakuwa tight sana in terms of your time table and all that. The lady was like, okay, well, kifika, let me know. Jama kajiwa. This is it. There you go. Alikuwa na safari ya kwenda huko? Hakuwa na. So ndo anze kupanga. Batasi imepatika? Alafu kusa kwa ni mtu wapaya hako na pesa. Yeah. So kusafiri, is it a problem? Eh, of course it is not. Just a decision, are we? Na ni kweli, huyu madama kaharakisha sana na kazami ya kwamba, hey, the next, you know, niko nafaa kuwa airport by this time and all that, and she left. And the guy now knew. Sa yu, washe kisini mpaka namba. Jamaa, jamaa. This is it. Sasa, off. Officially, yeah. niko kwenye mawindo, mm. you know, yeah. na hapa siyo zitoka, he view. So the lady left, and the guy, nini, nini, the conference was done, nini, nini, sasa hiyo wiki ambao likuwa mesema, jamana ye, shhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
You're supposed to go back. I can say, Karibu Ninge. Devo, who, 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 Usijibebe baby kima ndazi. Mandazi. Eh, ndazi. <laughs> kwamba uh -huh. you also have a life. Uh -huh. You're also very busy. Because you are prioritizing yeah. this meeting. Uh -huh. You can just postpone some. Oh, really? And then after the, 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 the call, the girl again idling. You know. And then they kuzunguka huko. Akiangalia akitishaka vitu vyote ambavyo vinapatikana kule. So yeah. the day came and they met. Uh -huh. Na jamaa alikuwa ashaamua ya kwamba nikienda nita make sure ya kwamba katika mazungumzo yetu mm. nimeurusha kitu tu cha kuoneshana ya kwamba mm. you know so yeah. they met this beautiful hotel mm -hmm. so wakakutana hawakukutana kwenye huyu jamaa yuko wala wakukutana wale cha hoteli nyingi so wakakutana you know oh and the lady is there and the guy is like now this is the moment i'll not like kuuliza leo yeah. but katika mazungumzo yetu lazima nitaonyeshana yeah. nina you know so as they are talking, mm -hmm. the guy anarusha to hints here and there. Nini. And of course now katika mazungumzo jamaa kajua, she is not seeing mm -hmm. anyone. Jamaa kajua kwa hivyo hapa uwanja, mm. uko wazi. Okay. So wakasama, oh yeah, you do these things, don't rush them, you know. So wajua zile mapiyar, hey, don't rush <laughs> them, you know, take Story. your time. You know, and you know, uja oh, fuzo, I know that. And you know, nowadays, mm -hmm. kwanza ukenzi kusia, nowadays, you know, these things, I don't know what, what, what. And the lady is there smiling and all that. Yeah. And now the lady like, what about you? Mm -hmm. Ah! Quick fast. <sighs> single. Uh -huh. You know why? Oh, you know, you know, you know. Hakuna mtu ambaye anasemanga, ye yeah, ndiye shida. You know, you know. Yeah, nowadays, oh, yo, yeah. Yeah, and all this. And then it's like, oh, okay. Anyway. Okay, it was nice meeting you and all that. Nani, nani, nani. And then after that, wakachana, na wakasemi ya kwamba tukikutana kule, ah, ni sawa, but at least umekua mabi. Mabishi. Mabishi. So after that, you know, wakanza kuchat chatingi, nini, hey, how are you, and all that. And then now, jamasu moja kasema, Ekariki. Mm. See, the worst she can do. Nikse manu. Mm. Kwenye na pembe. What? Hapa na anajela. Hapa na kwa hiyo. Sinisho yulizo wengine wanga nikatana. Yeah. Eh. Ata wewe. Kama wana nikatana, nitaenda nikiso. Nikiso nga. So jama, after some time, ndo baka munini nini, and the lady was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because also, ja, dem pia na juwa uja maa pia. Mm. So they met. And when they met now, the guy, Aka drop the question. Yes, I was going to hear how many, and finally the guy I can say, you know, tango akati ambapo tulugutana and all these, you know, ni nini to be called to be chat and all that. R B C D E F G H akaenda njoro ndo huyo mshwala mnyanya kageuka na nafa kwenda shabe akapita wa pimari gata kateremuka then akakuja. I love you. Shabi. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know. And then it's like, okay. But you, okay. Yeah, but I think, watch a tutu kwe mabish teki dogo, because and all that, nene, nene. Mdem ni very mature, by the way. You know, see what I want. Straight forward. Mm -mm. Straight forward. Ni una nakuangalia kwa macho mbako unasema yo. Chill. Kama ime kubo. Yeah. You know, I now let's just take some time and all that. Yeah. Think through three things. Know why we want to get into a relationship and all that. Jama kasema, yeah, 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 yeah. You have all the time. But at the back of his mind, he's like, mm -hmm. you don't have all the time. <laughs> I know. You better tell me. Mm -hmm. You know. And of course. Mm -hmm. Ika kwa kama vila mbavo jamali kwa nataka after some time. Okay. The lady was like, okay. Let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. You know, and the guy... Mm -hmm. You know, that ka celebration, yeah. nini, 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 feeling but now. But tunaka compose to kuhi jama inside. Yes, and all that, sasa jama kaza kusema, sasa from today, lazima yeah. ni act kama nini, nini, you know, hivyo. Mm -hmm. Baka kuangali angalia, sijui nini. Mm -hmm. And of course they started dating. dating. Okay. Waka pelekana, waka pelekana, mm -hmm. waka pelekana, baby. Darling, hey, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, cassava, yo, yo. Waka pelekana, waka pelekana, waka pelekana, waka ah, pelekana, waka pelekana, waka pelekana. Yes, <laughs> wakasamanga. Cassava. Huh? Do you know how nutritious uh, cassava is? Hey, how are you? Oh, I love you. Hey, din, din, so of it. Oh, you are this beautiful person. Oh, mm -hmm. every time. Hey, and then, mm -hmm. ika now, sasa di a serious thing. Yeah. Baka sasa ku introduce yana kwa, kwa the parents. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
He? Jamaa wakati ambapo alimwalika huyu kwao nyumbani, you know, akakuja ni kama rafiki hivi hivi. Ah, wazazi wa huyu jamaa wakapenda sana huyu msichana. Nini 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 and then uh, wakati mwingine this lady akaalika ule jamaa lakini kama beast kwanza. Yeah. Akaenda, "He, na wazazi wakasema, "Kai sasa huyu mlitoana na yeye wapi? Do you know?" Do you know? Nina, you know and the ladies like, "I know." Hata sisi si hatuko vibaya vile kwani kwani naogopaka. And after that nini nini kutoka hapo sasa ndio hiyo mambo ya dawari. Mm. Haya, haya, madhire, mm. kitenge. Oh, sijui nini, sijui nini. Uh-huh. And finally Why are you laughing? No, continue finally. So and finally, mm-hmm. you know, ikafika siku sasa wakati ambapo sasa wana funga pingu za mm. za maisha. Okay. Sasa hapa funga mshipi kwa sababu hapa ndipo kuna maneno. Mm, yes. Kuna three minutes. You know. Mm-hmm. So wakati sasa siku imekuwa scheduled ya harusi, mm-hmm. huyu jamaa akasema Kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo nimeona mm-hmm. huyu msichana alivyo nitajaribu sana mm-hmm. ni hakikishe ya kwamba nimempa zawadi mm-hmm. ambao ni ya gharama sana katika dunia hii. Okay. Yaani yaani nita invest nifanye research mm-hmm. nione the most expensive gift mm-hmm. the most expensive what gift yenezaanza yeah, mpatia mm-hmm. siku yetu ya harusi okay. this lady mm-hmm. so jamaa kaanza kufanya research anaangalia anasema ni mpenye anaona yeye yeah, anaona hii ana nini nini alafu unajua sasa wako na na kanini kao ka, ka, ka club kao ka watu wenye wametoka kwa family so wanajaribu yeah. kuuliza huko nini yeah. nini hey, ni wapi tuweza pata the most expensive gift yeah. so anaenda anapata sijui ni necklace sijui what what akienda pande hii anapata kuna kitu kingine kikubwa kuliko hiyo necklace yeah. anakwenda hivi anapata kwamba kuna gari ambalo sijui linatoka pesa ngapi anaangalia anasikia kwamba kuna lingine hata limetoka lete sijui nini nini yeah. yani akaona kwamba kila wakati ambapo anaangalia kuna kitu ambacho kiko juu ya kile ambacho alikuwa anafikiria yeah. do you know jamaa alifika hali mm-hmm. baka akasema ama nijaribu mpaka nione kama ninaweza pata kanili ketu kwa kwendaka holiday eh ninunue Please. kazuri kakuwe customized wow. you know uh, ka, ka ndege tu ketu ka jet you know you know ba, ndivyo nimeonesha kabisa 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 that I mean, and of course kwangu pesa si shida akienda nasikia si juu inatoka pesa ngapi anaenda si juu anapata akashindwa what can i do nitafute ama 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 nitafute meli you know <laughs> because i can do really? anything because i love her so much nataka nimpatie the most expensive gift yes. ever okay ya kwamba kila mtu siku ya harusi akisikia kile ambacho mm-hmm. nimempatia mke wangu huyu kila mtu atasema enyewe yeah. enyewe mm. jamaa alifanya research akafanya research akafanya research sasa ideas zikamuishia mm-hmm. so harusi ikiwa saturday yeah. thursday mm-hmm. Jamaa akakuta baba yake. So sasa hiyo sasa unajua mipango sasa imepamba moto. Mm. Akakuta baba yake akamwambia dad. <sighs> sasa mimi mnajua ni kwamba we do ni sato. Mimi nimejaribu kutafuta the most expensive gift ya kupatia my wife to be. Nasipati. Mm. And dad, I know you have traveled a lot. Yeah. And of course you experience and all that and your age. Mm. Lazima uko tu na idea ya mahali ushaiona na ukaenda ukaona something very very expensive. Mm. Nataka tu unisaidie ku kufikiria. Yeah. Babake akamwambia, allow me. I take some time. I do a bit of research. Mm. Tomorrow morning, that's on Friday, Friday. I will I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. So the following day, Friday morning, the sun goes to the father. Mm-hmm. Kambia nimekuja ndivyo tujaribu kuharakisha vitu kwa sababu ya Yeah. Babake akamwambia okay, umeangalia nini na nini? Jamaa akaanza kusema, niliangalia necklace, nikaangalia jet, nikaangalia nile kambia mpaka jet. Akambia unajua sana naangalia hii unapata kuna nyingine ambayo iko juu hiyo, mara sijui nini. Okay, akamwambia now. <clears throat> I did my research. Mm-hmm. And uh, finally I was able kukwambia uh, kujua the most expensive gift mm. ambayo utampatia kesho. Mm-hmm. Sijui utaishi utaishi aje na sijui itafika aje on time. Mm. But inaweza ikafika kwa urahisi sana. Mm-hmm. So usijali. So after I did my research 
nime research jet kama venye unasema nimeangalia vitu vingi sana nikaanza kufikiria kama unaweza mjengea real estate nikafikiria mambo mengi sana and then ndivyo nika realize ya kwamba ah kumbe tunajisumbua yet the most expensive gift mm. it is actually readily available okay. and the son was like and what is that ndivyo tu changamke now my son akamwelekea mkono kwenye bega hapa the most expensive gift mm. yenye unaweza mpatia your wife to be mm-hmm. the most expensive one katika dunia hii is a gift called trust mm. uaminifu yeah kama utaweza kumpatia mm-hmm. zawadi ya uaminifu mm-hmm. that is the most expensive gift ever mm-hmm. and the son was like i don't get it akamwambia okay right let me explain it akamwambia unajua pesa pesa zinaweza nunua mambo mengi sana mm. ulikuwa umekwenda kuangalia jet yeah. umekwenda kuangalia sijui nini mara ambako una vile ambao utanunua meli mm. mara sijui necklace gani lakini kuna mambo ambayo pesa haiwezi nunua yep. na sasa uaminifu mm. happens kuwa katika orodha hiyo mm. na iko pale juu yeah. so mm. kama unaweza kuaminika na mke wako wewe yeah. uaminike kama mume mm. na uwe mkiwa naye ama kama hamko nawe mm-hmm. naye unaweza ukaaminika yeah. that is the most expensive gift yes. akasema but unfortunately even those people mm-hmm. with a lot of money most of them mm-hmm. cannot afford it yeah. meaning mm-hmm. yes unaweza ukakuwa mtu tajiri sana mm-hmm lakini hawaaminiki. Yeah. Anaambia so. Ukiniuliza okay, the most expensive one mm-hmm. yenye unafaa kuanza kumpatia kesho mm. trust ni uwa waaminifu. Minifu. Huh. Okay. And the son was like Yeah. I get it. Mm. Hashtag Sio katika ndoa peke yake sio katika relationship peke yake yeah. sio katika mahali ambapo tunafanya kazi peke yake mm-hmm. sio katika wokovu peke yake mm-hmm. lakini swali kubwa ambalo kila mmoja wetu anafaa kujiuliza siku ya leo mm-hmm. je wewe unaweza ukaaminika yeah. uwe una pesa mm-hmm. ama hauna hela wewe ni mweusi ama wewe ni mweupe yeah. uko Kenya uko Tanzania uko across the countries of this world je mm-hmm. wewe unaweza ukaaminika because kama uwezi ukaaminika then it means mm. you cannot afford yeah. the very expensive mm. gift mm. ambayo inaitwa trust does it take us q4 today wow. today does it make so, sense ni you reflect on yourself so sit with yourself think about this wewe unaweza ukaaminika you trust with to your friends to your partner to your parents generally wewe ni mtu even god can god trust you tutumie feedback yako katika nambari zetu 0721 105105 on the whatsapp uh, whatsapp number 23814 kwenye sms line which is absolutely free we also live on facebook on mbc itv and we live on youtube on mbc itv official youtube page you send them bali will be coming right back for now tunapata mitindo and today we are talking about dining tables so let's have another one silvia wanja and then as we come back we'll be coming back with our guest of the day yani today conversation you don't want to miss it we will send embali who will be coming right back dining tables near essential pieces of furniture found in most households serving as central hubs our to kukula gatherings na socializing zinakuja in a variety of shapes sizes materials na styles to suit different preferences na needs from intimate dinners to large family feast dining tables na provide a functional na aesthetic focal point for dining spaces wacha tuangazie aina za dining table
kwanza ni concrete dining tables. Concrete dining tables zina offer a unique blend of durability, style na versatility, making them increasingly popular choices for modern interior design. Concrete ni a sustainable material choice for dining tables na inahitaji minimal energy for manufacturing. Whether you're drawn to their sleek, industrial aesthetic or their practicality na longevity, a concrete dining table in our a serve as a striking centerpiece for your dining room for years to come. extendable dining tables extendable dining tables ni versatile furniture pieces zenye zina offer flexibility in dining spaces allowing users to adjust the table size according to their needs extendable dining tables ni ideal for smaller dining areas or multi purpose rooms when your space is limited with an extendable table unaweza enjoy the benefits of both a small and large dining table in one piece furniture Tattoo ni oval dining tables. Oval dining tables zina offer a classic na elegant alternative to traditional rectangular or square tables, bringing a sense of sophistication na versatility to dining spaces. Oval dining tables ziko available in a wide range of designs, materials na finishes to suit different tastes na interior styles. Whether you prefer a timeless wooden design or a contemporary glass table, an oval dining table in a way to enhance the aesthetic appeal and social dynamics of your dining area. Nne, rectangular dining tables. Rectangular dining tables ziko miongoni mwa the most common na versatile options for dining spaces, offering a classic design that accommodates various seating arrangements and decor styles. Rectangular dining tables zina offer a perfect balance of style, functionality, na practicality, making them a popular choice for a wide range of dining spaces. A rectangular dining table now is a serve as a versatile na inviting centerpiece for your dining room or kitchen area. ni round dining tables. Round dining tables zina offer a charming na inviting focal point for dining spaces with their elegant shape facilitating social interaction na peer maximizing seating capacity. Round dining tables zina accommodate flexible seating arrangements with diners seated equidistant from the table center. Despite their elegant appearance, round dining tables ni highly functional pieces of furniture. <music> In conclusion, dining tables are more than just functional pieces of furniture. They are cultural artifacts that in reflect the evolution of human society and design sensibilities. As indispensable components of domestic life, dining tables in a letter watu pamoja, fostering connection, conversation, and shared experiences around the timeless ritual of dining. Nihayo tu ndani ya mitindo leo, jina langu ni Sylvia Wanjaw, kwa heri. Are you ready to unlock the secrets behind successful career choices? Join us for an eye-opening journey as we delve deep into the minds of professionals from various career fields. So what is your take on employment? I think that employment has been misdefined. Don't miss the insights and the knowledge that will equip you for your success. Meet the HR every Friday from 8.30 p.m. with Sylvia Wanja. And remember... There is no luck in career, but it's an opportunity meets preparation. Kilimo ni utu wa mgongo katika uchumi wa kitaifa.
akili shambani inakufunza mbinu mbalimbali za kilimo cha mimea na ufugaji. Tunavuka milima na mabonde kukuelimisha mengi kuhusu ubunifu na teknolojia katika kilimo. Yote tisa, kumi ni masoko na yoje tunahusika na mkulima kutoka kwa shamba hadi sokoni. Fahamu haya na mengine mengi kuhusu kilimo kwenye akili shambani kila Jumatano saa moja unusu usiku ukiletewa nami ena Eli Mlinga. Usimis kwenda bikuni. Madhiki na makeki. This is serious. Doctrines continue to differ. So let everybody examine their doctrine. Debates are on the rise. Sodom, this was the same thing that is happening today. And the information is plenty. People go to the wrong sources expecting to get the right answers. Amidst all these, what is the truth? This judgment is not based on sin. The Bible is clear and there is an answer for every query. Ask the Ministers of God show every Saturday 8.30 p.m. Hey! Get ready for non-stop adventures and lots of fun! Each episode is packed with engaging stories, vibrant animations, catchy songs, educational session, and unforgettable moments. She sells seashells at the seashore. Sea. Hey! <laughs> we inspire and empower young minds as we develop important life skills while having a blast. Join us every Saturday on your favorite channel from 9.30 a.m. as we have an amazing time. Don't miss out! This is MBC I TV, MBC I Radio. Kitu ambacho kina badilisha maisha by the grace of God. Amen. And the show on air is SNS and is saved and sound. That was my ultimate plan. Yeah, Jesse had decided about that. Uh, next week. Swimming is very random. When was the last time we liguza maji? Ah. Maji mingi kuliko karai. Yes, brother, this is the place where you connect with me. Yeah? Let me let me share something that you and JC have in common. Mm -hmm. As in That is that changed, is now that man. one. Now yeah. that one. So, one. Responsibilities will change whereby sasa wewe una chip in kwa Christmas. As in you have to be part of that budget. Natoa gapi? Tunafaa kula tunafaa kula nyama ya ndushana siji na ingumbe. Eh okay. Ah, 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 ah. We can't do this. <laughs> You know, ah, anyway, you know, you try to anyway, explain something as, that you are not as, understand. As someone, <laughs> as someone, 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 as I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, back to what I was saying because it was just a moment of being happy. <laughs> anyway, grace and peace. And peace. SNS with Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Kahugu, Kahugu. JK Huha and E, the DJ. Experience a journey of spiritual elevation and immerse yourself in the most uplifting worship moments. Watch the best of worship culmination every Saturday from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. It's an awe-aspiring event featuring anointed worshippers and going beyond the studio to connect with young souls eager to embrace the divine presence in educational institutions. Get ready to elevate your spirit and embrace the true essence of worship with Maria Omondi and her incredible team of worshippers. The Virtuous Woman Show brings to you authentic stories from all women of all walks of life. You start going to the bar to watch football. Yes. And you started just as going to watch football. No. Uh -huh. I was intentional. Why do you want to kill these babies? And I'm looking at him and I'm asking, what babies? Through the experiences, we are able to enlighten and encourage each other. He strangled me, mm -hmm. pushed me to the ground, mm -hmm. and the first thing he asked, asked for was my impesa pin. He proposed, and that's when I said, mm -mm. People will come to understanding and knowledge that this one 
She's not just a religious woman. Yeah. She's a called woman. Catch the Vaches Woman Show every Sunday from 6 p.m. with Sheila Juma. In a world filled with secrets, betrayals, and unexpected twists, two sisters are about to collide in ways they never imagined, lighting a fire that will shake their lives to the core. And now, there's the old cycle of pain and betrayal. And yet, a new challenge is at hand. Join Hadassa on a journey of redeeming her destiny every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Marriage is not a mark of completeness, nor is singlehood a mark of incompleteness. Most people look forward to married life, but when is the right time to start a relationship? The two shall become one, isn't it? A man should not do this, a woman should not do this, I would say, unless it is a function. These others can be negotiated. Marriages are meant for us to enjoy and not endure one another. For better, for worse. That is what we call an affirmative covenant. You know, are we showing fidelity? Don't miss the marriage classroom to learn more about relationships and marriage. Relations in a relationship that is not yet in, you know, joined together, they are, you are not in marriage, is a no-no. It will never be right now, it will never be right tomorrow. It will never be okay, even in the future. Every Sunday, only on MBC ITV. For startups and magnates, the best way of marketing is by word of mouth. So the best way to encourage word of mouth is proper execution. Taking risks, that one is inevitable. That is the first initial thing that you need to have. Join us as we explore the exciting world of entrepreneurship, innovation and business strategy. You must do it with many people. You can't do it yourself. So you need to assemble a team that will deliver your vision and take the company to the next level. Business Plus is your go-to source for expert advice, insider tips and inspiring success stories. The only way you can actually be able to Solve problems faster is if you encounter many problems, so it becomes easier. With me, Rachel Kahugu, every Monday at 7.30 p.m. Remember, business is more than meets the eye. Yeah. Right, we are back. Kabisa na mambo yako sawa kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji mm -hmm. na tega sikio ya leo imekuwa ni ya kujiuliza swali hilo. Wewe unaweza ukaaminika? Na je, hata wakati ambapo unaaminika na wanadamu, Mungu anaweza kukuamini pia? Yep. Kwa sababu watu wengi shida yetu iko hapo. Unajua unaweza ukatengeneza uaminifu kwa miaka mingi, mm -hmm. alafu uvunje tu na siku hii yeah. hata si siku moja yeah. uvunje na dakika kidogo sana na upata kwamba umeharibu kila kitu ambacho umejenga kwa miaka mirefu yeah. katika uhusiano katika urafiki katika maeneo yako ya kazi and even how you relate with people yeah. inakuchukua tu kufanya tu kitu very very inakaa ni kama yeah. high make sense yeah. na that trust ikue tu imevunjika and that's it na regaining the same mm inaweza kuchukua muda mrefu sana and sometimes maybe inaweza kosa kufanyika kwa hiyo ni vizuri kila mtu ajiulize are you able to afford this very expensive gift mm. uwe una hela ama hauna hela uwe uko Kenya ama uko nje ya mipaka hii can you be trusted mm -hmm. that's the question that kila mtu anajiuliza leo hii atasia kuuliza wale wengine ni kamiti ya juulize kama naweza akaaminika recho vile vile wewe vile vile na ukijijibu ukiona kana kwamba hawezi ukaaminika uambie Mungu akusaidie ndivyo uweze kuwa mtu mwaminifu sio yeah. so baada ya some of the feedbacks ambazo zimekuja yeah. from that particular tegasikio na ni kuna huyu anasema aitwa Jack aha aitwa aitwa Jack anasema uh, kwangu mimi uh, <laughs> All right, please Jack, tu ma tu message Jack kote na vizuri. Sawa sawa. Mwili asema good morning kamiti and Richard. Good morning. Ni tuwa John kutoka kina ngop. Asema actually for me, when I trust, I trust with all my heart. But once you break the trust, I can never trust you again. 
And can you be trusted yourself? Can you be trusted? Yeah. Kila mtu ajilize ile swali leo. Anasema huyu Hashtag good morning. good morning. I like the father's wisdom kwa mwanae huyo. Indeed trust is what is needed katika kila jambo. Mm-hmm. A good lesson committee. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Dorcas Bombo kutoka kule Kimilili. Mm-hmm. Unasema ya kwamba unatupata kwa njia iliyo sawa kabisa. Asante God bless you. Yes. Anasema bila shaka uaminifu ni zawadi tosha katika nyanja zote. Wengi tumeshindwa ku, kukumbatia hili na ku, kukosa kuwa wangwana. Mungu atusaidie sana. I father p patrick from Kiri. where have you been? i think the last time ulituma ujumbe hapa it was last Namuka. year nimemkumbuka si nilo wa kirenyaga yule yes ambaye anasemanga tumsifu yesu kristo yes. <laughs> yes. yes karibu it's been a minute yeah mm. anasema wa what a suspense indeed trust is the most expensive gift na wewe tunasema kwamba unapotuma ujumbe pia tueleze wewe ni nani kutoka wapi manake pia inatusaidia tuweze kukujua mm. asante sana unasema ya kwamba ndio kuaminika ndo zawadi ambayo ni agali zaidi mm. katika maisha haya asante sana anasema hi my people Praise the Lord. Amen. Hiyo tegasikia leo ni kali sana. We what a question. Am I trustworthy? God help me na wapenda sana. Anaitwa Mama Faith and Asha from mm. Kenya. Asante. Mm. Kuna mwingine hapa ambaye anasema ya kwamba tagasikia leo imenifanya nimemwaga machozi manake pia nishawejipata hapo. Uh, Mungu alikuwa amenisaidia akanipa mke mzuri tu na mimi nikakosa kuaminika na nikafanya mambo nje ya ndoa. Na ndoa yangu ikavunjika na mpaka na leo nalilia Mungu akanisaidii. Mm. Kweli uaminifu ni kitu cha maana. Huenda labda ikitajwa tu mtu anaona kana kwamba ni neno kama lile lingine mpaka wakati ambapo utajipata katika hali sawia. Nimejaribu kutranslate kile ambacho umeandika. Alafu nasema kama ningelijua ningekuwa mtu wa kuaminika Mungu nisaidie. Mm. Wow na amemaliza na zile emoji za kulia. Yeah. So ni mtu ambaye alikuwa katika ndoa na kwa njia moja au nyingine akajipata ameingia katika hali ambayo ilimfanya uaminifu ukavunjika kati yake nafikiri na mkewe. Mm. Ya, yeah, na mambo yakawa very tough kwake na unasema kwamba umekuwa ukiomba Mungu akusaidie and we pray that God is going to come through for you. Mm. He's going to restore you and also restore your marriage. Uh, because hakuna jambo ambalo Mungu hawezi. Hata mambo ambayo yamekufa yeye ana nguvu ya kuuisha. Yeah. Kwa hivyo tunakuombea tu Mungu akusaidie. Mm. Mm. Amen to that. Anasema hashtag tegasikia praise the living god Tim Raushwa. Amen. In marriages and relationships without trust it can't work. Watu watarushana juu na nje. Anaitwa Dave kutoka Gilo. Asante. Mm. Hashtag Raushwa uh, Kamete and Rachel good morning. Uh, Nilimwambia mtu siri ya hali yangu ya HIV. Kwa sababu nilikuwa ninamwamini tu Uh, kumbe naye alikwenda akawaambia watu wote ya kwamba niko positive hilo jambo lilinifanya mpaka nikawa mgonjwa nikaingia ndani ya depression mpaka sasa hivi amejaribu kuregesha urafiki wetu but siwezi tu mi nashindwa Mungu anisaidie lakini siwezi nikamwamini tena hmm. alinambia kwamba yeye ni counselor nimwambie tu whatever it is that is happening in my life na ataweza kunisaidia kumbe alikuwa amesubiri tu nikimtajia alikwenda mpaka akakwenda mpaka kanisani akamwambia mpaka na mchungaji nikatolewa mpaka kwenye praise and worship ile niuma sana at one point i became suicidal na nilikuwa nimeamua tu to end my life but later mungu akaja na akanisaidia nime heal but every time nikukutana naye huwa nahisi kabisa sitaki anything uh, to do with her yes trust is the most expensive gift that most people can't afford yet it is readily available mm. kindly don't mention my name i won't okay mm. wow. sasa mtu anakuja na kuambia hali yake ya hiv surely uh, kwa sababu umekaa hapo na ukasema wewe ni counselor How I wish you are watching this program. Yaani umekaa hapo tu ukasema, "Yeah, I'm a counselor." Mm. Mtu amekuja amekwambia, amekwambia, amekwambia. Kumbe na wewe unatafuta stories za kwenda kunywa chai na watu wengine. Why do you do that? Haya basi, chukulia kama wewe ndio wewe. Mm. <coughs> ume, ume, umeambia mtu 
jambo kama hilo alafu anakwenda kukuanika huko yeah. alafu sana unajua shida ni hauisemi kwa njia ya kumsaidia ni kumwanika mm. ni, ni you know huyo hata mkimuona in a negative way who told you ya kwamba kuwa na hiv is a death sentence kwa ni haven't we seen people hata wengine wamekuja ndani ya kipindi hiki mm. unapata mtu anasema aligundua ya kwamba aliku, alipata hiv sijui lini na amekuwa ka, na most of those people hata wengine si eti kwa sababu walikwenda wakajihusisha na mapenzi kiholela kule nje wengine they were in accidents wengine walikuwa na handle me i know of someone ambaye alikuwa na handle uh, mzazi ambaye alikuwa katika hali hiyo so katika ku handle unajua unapenda mzazi sana mm. you know mahali damu zikaguzana na akawa pia naye amepata kwa hiyo kama unajua wezi amenika wacha kwenda uki, ukiuliza watu wakwambie mambo yao wewe that is that is bad strong that is really bad mm. that is really bad sendio just be tusoma mwisho mwisho ndivyo tuingie kwa topic of discussion yeah anasema hello Tuned in from Nairobi West listening. Asema a few can afford to offer this gift of trust. Yeah. And it was hero mwenda. Very few. Mm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Good morning Raushwa. Ni vizuri kuaminika maana it gives hell uh, it gives health to life. Nafikiri ndivyo unavyosema. Mm. Na pia mtu kuwa na furaha. Unasema AC kutoka kule the home of champions Eldoret. Asante sana Mungu akubariki. Asante. Yes. Wow. Asanteni for the feedbacks and region me feel and I'm I'm just thinking how trust is very very expensive it but is. as you said unaweza okay break in a very very short while like in some minutes we shall break trust ya mtu yet umekuwa ki build for the longest time yeah. so let's be very careful with how we handle people and let's be very careful on uh, vile tunaongea uko nje because utasema tu hivi kitu moja na ndio break trust ya mtu yote so let's let's be very very careful mm. na it's also going with the topic of discussion yenye tunaongea leo because today being a tuesday na kwanga ni secure relationships and today we are talking about dating or rather courtship which is one and the same thing um, and it's very very broad but even as a christian even as a believer how to mkasko moja ukuta god amekuandikia hapo kwa mlango your wife is called blah 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 you will meet on this day at this place so keep time and make sure when they uko your day you, lazima you have some things you need to do the dates you have to go to as a man you have to approach and uh, blah, blah 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 so that is what we are talking about today and today we are having pastor benjamin karibu sana yes we are very glad to have you today na tunangoja sana kusikia hii topic <laughs> Nangoja sana kusikia hii topic and also uh, for you to answer all the questions that you'll be having from yeah, us and right. also from the viewers. Right. But for the people who are seeing you for the very first time mm. kwa issue and probably kwa this particular television. Right. Please introduce yourself using uh, this camera and right. then we can start. Yes, good morning and praise Jesus mm. to all our viewers. My name is Pastor Benjamin Dirango. I fellowship here at Kingdom Seekers Fellowship Church. This is where I also minister. Majorly I'm entrusted with the department of the youth as a youth as one of the youth pastors and uh, I'm glad to be here today. I've loved Raushwa. Ah, I never thought I'd be in Raushwa. So, thank you for having me. It's a blessing and I know that God will help us and we are going to learn definitely. I'm married with two kids by God's grace. Yeah. Mm. Yes. The last time to look on on uh, MBC look on lifestyle. Oh yeah. Lifestyle Thursday. Mm-hmm. With Sylvia Wanja. Mm-hmm. With one amazing discussion. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So we are not glad to have you apa kwa Raushwa. Asante. Na topic leo na je inezende vwe washe moto kidogo. Inezende vwe kwa heated. But even as we start tell us yes. what is what is dating or rather uh, what is courtship. Let's mm, start all right. from there. All right. <coughs> Um, I think to begin with of course many people have different ways in which they define dating and courtship but what I'll say they are more or less similar what do I mean because when you talk about dating you're referring to the time you have with each other especially when you have a romantic relationship mm. and then um, I'll, I'll simply put the difference in a very simple way in the same way. So for dating and courtship, because now courtship may refer to that process. 
whereby umepropozia mtu on the time you'll marry. Ni kama grace period ya mtu ku sign in kwa insurance na wakati wenye utanza kulipa the first uh, whatever they say the first month payments or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'll say uh, dating Sikuizu wanasema it's like jina courtship imekuwa vague ni kama ina, ni kama ni ya kitambo. Mm. Because for courtship, mm -hmm. you find time for each other with the intention of marriage. Mm -hmm. But now coming to today, it's like sasa wana evolve. Sunajua vile sikuizu majina pia zinatafutua. Mm -hmm. For dating, um, contemporary, uh, in the contemporary world, they're saying you don't have to necessarily be having the intention of getting married or mm -hmm. you entering marriage. Mm -hmm. So for me, because dating also, they say you can date more than one person. I mean, you can be meeting one, two, three, four, many people mm -hmm. at the same time. So I think one of the difference is the intention. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'll say dating is more of, I'll, I'll liken dating to an idling engine. An idling engine. I mean, iko apo ijui kama inaenda, ijui kama itaenda, yeah. ijui kama itagari, itazimwa, ujui kama itaenda mbele. But the truth is, ata kama engine iko idling, they say, uwe natumia mafuta nyingi kuliko enye ungetumia tuya kuwasha na usonge. Mm -hmm. So you are still, there are still resources that you need za kutumia mukiamua ni kusonga mbele na kupanga mambo ya na kujianda for marriage. Mm -hmm. So you are still using the resources. Resources kama gani? Bado natumia emotions. Mm. Bado my feelings and it's a waste of feelings and emotions sometimes. Mm. But I'll say courtship is more purposeful. Okay. Yeah, I'll say courtship is more purposeful. Kuna lengo sasa. Kuna lengo, so, yeah. yeah. Because the difference majorly is the intention mm -hmm. between the two. Yeah. So for us, especially believers, we talk about courtship. Mm -hmm. But we don't leave the word dating because in courtship, you are still giving each other dates mm -hmm. because you'll still be meeting every now and then. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, so for us, we talk about courtship, but still dating is a facet here, courtship. Mm -hmm. But atuta iweka dating atikando peke yaki. Oh, That's okay. why we are saying dating and courtship yeah. or maybe courtship and dating because they happen they go together yeah, yeah. so yeah. dating in a end up kuwa ni kama an ingredient yeah. ya courtship mm -hmm. thank you but it should not be left kiyo peke yake vile sayi wanasema atitu kutanage tu ya minu wanasema kuona atitu wane kama itawak yes and, and you know still there is a hook the, dating utasema ni dating kama kuna a romantic attraction mm. it's for people who are romantically attracted to each other even in dating. That's why you're giving someone a date. Mm -hmm. So, ukiyacha peke yake, you're doing wrong. Lakini sasa, as you said, it is an ingredient, not should be, it is an ingredient kwa courtship in this process. Yeah. Because you have to be giving each other dates. You have to meet. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. is it a must? Okay. Is it a must that uh, if I have spotted a lady mm -hmm. and I want to know more about this particular individual and I'm even inv inviting her uh, for now coffee somewhere in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Is it a must bora tu juni mem spot ya kwamba sasa lazima ni meenda hapo na mawazi ya kwamba nataka kumuwa ama kwanza ni kumjua ndivo nione kama ni mtu ambaye anaeza oleka. Oh yeah, sure. I think um, you know we are social beings and one of the things ambazo watu wame fail kujua ni kuwa there are times we think we are in a relationship but we are in a situation. There is a situation that is, that is bringing us together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, you can be in a situation. I mean, there is a situation that is bringing you together. That's mm -hmm. what is connecting you. Because when you talk about a relationship, simply put, a relationship that is that is to say, there is something common between the two of you. Mm -hmm. You have entered in a ship. So a ship is a unit of courage. Kuna malim naenda. That's why there are different types of ships in this matter. There are different types of relationships. Eh? Kuna partnership. You've come together. What do you have in mind? What do you have in common? You want to do business together. So that's where you're headed. There is friendship. Mm. Eh? Marriage is a kind of a relationship, but now it's in a whole different level. Yeah. And this is a kuna easy za courtship is also part of a relationship. What do you have in common? Marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, where people go wrong, it's because it, it's easier to. Uh, many people are more inclined to choosing a friend, but I think if only people take this now, I wish people would learn to be friendly before they choose friends. Because there's a difference between being friendly and having a friend. Mm -hmm. Now, when we are working together, when we are working together, 
we are relating. By the way, even when you are working together, there is a relationship. Yes, it is. There is a relationship. It's my colleague. D definitely, that's a relationship. Mm -hmm. And you see, it's possible. Kama monadamu nikiskia if there is a lady to work nae, but she talks nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that na ona vile kuna vile anafanya job apa na mwana ube, especially if you've not married or even a lady, a lady tunakuwa ga on the lookout watu tunakuwa ga searching searching he searching ifanyika gi ati nikanisa peke yake it is everywhere wherever you are mm -hmm. it is wherever you are mm -hmm. so chances are higher begin to be attracted to this person mm -hmm. because you will even find that you share you share things. Mm. Now that's where soul ties comes in. Soul ties is kujia gitu kwa sexual intercourse peke yake. Because soul tie, it means you have a soul, I have a soul. So let's ask, what is in my soul? The mind, the will, the emotions. Mm. Right? So if I'm telling you what I'm thinking about, and I'm sharing so passionately, because you are a friend, I'm sharing with you a part of my soul. If I share with you my emotions, because when I tell you about what I'm thinking about, I'm also... <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you what I'm thinking about, I talk about it like a story. I talk about it like emotions. Yes. Right? I don't feel okay about I mean, kuna vile sifili kitu kinibamba. Na pi na tokaga na choisi yako. I will not do this thing. I felt, I, I felt like I won't do it. Mm. So already when when I'm share, in, in a workplace, we share so many things, whether with the same gender or the opposite gender. So depending on the nature of your relationship, uneza kuta kuna kasulta yika mefomiwa kanaka kama... Let me use a literal examples. Kama ile kamba ya kushona nguo. Najua ni kakonde sana. Ako ni kakitu unezu kakata. But the truth is that there's a connection. There's a connection. So, on on top of that, besides that, definitely unawana ina weja mani mahandi. Right? And that girl, kuna vile tu, tutumie lugu yetu ya vijana. Kuna vile tu anajibeba kivyake. And definitely, macho ijafungwa, you are seeing the physicals and all that. So, the chances of being attracted to a person, they are very high. We need to, that's what people need to understand. But the fact that I'm being attracted to you, it is not an immediate sign. Ni signo ma ni signo? Signal. Signal. Maybe it's your of schools. That depends. Uh, so it is not an immediate sign, Amma. Uh, it's signal. not a, 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 an, immediate, an immediate signal that she is the one or he is the one. Oh, yeah. Actually, if you, are, if, you, if you stay next to a lady you're working with them and you're never attracted, I think that's a cool Yeah. Ni kama unapita mahali nyama choma inachomwa na unajua vile wanatoboa tobuaga na wanaeka chumbi na moto unasikia kamboshi kana kufuata tu usipofili hiyo harufu number 1 unahitaji hiyo mapo ende katengenezwe na daktari so the only point is mimi ndio naamuaga kama nitanunua hiyo nyama ama hapa na the choice is on me yeah. the choice is mine but being attracted being attracted that's nature, that's biology mm -hmm. by the way i'm a pastor thank you but even before I married, there are times I would find myself at a prison door. She put on an embrace. Cool, cool, she be. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the Lord speaking. Ah, now it's a PA. You know, I'm going to swallow it. You're still asleep because, because you're on the lookout. And you see, um, you look at TV. Somebody said that finding a spouse is like finding a shoe. Because both the shoes must be paired. Lazima zi fanane. Amina lazima zi toshane. So, kama wawo nafikiria you are the right one, na wendo wambiwe pale, ato ukienda madukani, na wamepata tu kia tumoja, isi ndo imekufurisha? They have to look for the other one. They have to. Uwezi nienda na kia tumoja. Ama useme, switchkwe hiko karibu kufanane. You can't. So, somehow, unakutaka ukitafta mtumoja ni kama wewe. Ingawaje kuna watu wakua girili Kuna mse wabangi ya natafutaka wa chachi Yo ni abnomo Yo ni abnomo But sisa nika kutafuta yo kia Sahi kia tunakuta Tukitafuta unaitafutaka kwa manguo Mbako na shini wa nani ya lipeleka uko So hii kia tu inatafutu wa kila mahali So that I'm being attracted to a person That just tells me ni konomo Ni konomo I'm a human being. I'm a human being. Yeah. And by the way, eh, it's normal. Now, the next thing should be this. Mm -hmm. Learn to respond to things, not to react. Learn to respond to things, mm -hmm. not, not to, to react. react. We have a generation of popcorn and spaghetti na, 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 na indo meal, mm -hmm. whereby it is quick, not quick. Not yeah. Hey, I'm doing you. Kitu quick, quick. You can talk to people directly, eh. man of God. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unajua hizi hizi story hata tukizipiga zitukue kuna maltrakani kama hatuna chills. Yeah. Because when people go wrong in this the pain hata hata pain haina chills. Yeah. Inakukamata tu vile yeah. yeah. So yeah. where we may appear even rough it's for good. Yeah. Yeah. Kubali. Eh, mtu akubali. Mm-hmm. Na um, um, so people are after quick fixes. Unakuta jamaa ameona eh manze kuna vile nimevutiwa even in church. Mm. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Unakuta immediately pop unaenda. Yeah. So, kuna brother aliangalia madam akasifu afu ni kama madam alikuwa amesahau peta cha uh, nyumbani. Yeah. Wacha asifu. Hii jamaa huko hivi ni kama sifa ziliingia na sauti na sura na kila Ikeingia kitu na figa ikaingia kwa moyo. <laughs> Sasa akiwa hapa akangojea amalize akatafuta the lady. Uh, by the way, big up to that person because at least your confidence usi lose usi lose confidence ara kama uli lose your side ingine. Mm-hmm. So again akamwambia you know I've loved the way blah 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 you doing with and said yeah and I've loved you like on bio and I like the way the lady did mm-hmm. and you was squeeze now ni get behind me satan yeah. hapana yeah. 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 unajua adam adam tu kukuja uko mbivo by the way appreciate kuna watu wanakuja kwa usio nasema pastor niangalie ni kwa sawa nini sina <laughs> wanatafuta gani pastor hata hai wananipita huwa huwa yes, so it's something to appreciate yeah. even as a guy if a lady is like i appreciate yeah, yeah. thank god we we pick an error rejection yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> on a, on a light note yeah. so, so the guy went the, the guy lady. went mm-hmm. the lady najua alimwambi oh thank you i appreciate but uh, that one there is my husband that mm-hmm. that one there is my kid but thank you i appreciate for Uh, 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 for expressing yourself and i pray that god will continue guiding you and it's well with you brother mm-hmm. and she left so do you see the quick fix because i may i'm quite attracted so mimi naweza nikasema mm. hivi when you're attracted to someone take time mm. yeah take time yeah. watch another quick fixes mm-hmm. because love is not an opinion mm. by the way the scriptures say in philippians 1:9 that love should be based on depth of insight and knowledge mm depth of insight and knowledge na mimi wacha nisome sieleze soma soma unajua tu unaweza guys vitu ziko wapi kwa biblia hapa we got a lot of time to really dissect on this sasa look at philippians chapter number 1 and verse number 9 nitasoma na message version okay. na kuna biblia tofauti ni inaitaga ku paraphrase for no. us to help no. a father mm. so nitasoma vile ninasema philippians 1:9 This is my pr- so this is my prayer mm-hmm. that your love will flourish and that you will not only love much but well each generation ya kupigana na mapenzi kama mburukenge you know they are after you have to nikupige nikubondesha nikuspoil yeah. but, but the scripture say love well not just <laughs> love much yeah. it says learn to love appropriately kwa ile bondeshwa yeah <laughs> Learn to <laughs> love appropriately. Yeah, love so that, appropriately. And it's something that can be learned. Yeah. It's some it's, it's something that can be learned. Yeah. Wana psychology wanaita conditioning. Mm-hmm. A type of learning through practice and experiment. Mm-hmm. You can teach yourself to learn appropriately. Learning appropriately is doing the appropriate things. Mm-hmm. Although it's kuna relationships na kama misappropriated funds kwa kampuni. Mm-hmm. I mean you are doing things that are not authorized. Yeah. Things that you are not authorized to do with your feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eh, so it says na religion GPN yuko na corruption. Eh, eh, they, thank you. It is corrupt. Hey, Tetembe sema mtakuwa rap. Ah, like ndio. <laughs> Sasa kama mjua mna mna kula fans. Eh, you know. Na na unajua hata hosi ya ubembelezagu. The only thing wanafanya ku katuka spirit <laughs> lakini shindano utadungwa. Yeah. You see that for the yeah. for the good. Sure. Now this is where it hits. Mm-hmm. You need to use your head and test your feelings. You need to use your head. Like tumia kichwa. Eh, tumia <laughs> Into and test your feelings <laughs> because feelings 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 uh, can be manipulated yeah feelings can be can be manipulated 100%. Mm. yes mm. in fact even even in church unless you are holy ghost filled and you know you are fully 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 mm. filled with the holy ghost don't trust your feelings it's only this lady that had the flow of blood mm-hmm. not known her trust feelings mm-hmm. and she felt the flow has stopped yeah. she felt mm. But uh, since wengine kwanza mambo ya love don't trust your feelings mm-hmm. now which head are you using ni head iko naso popera kwa kichwa because if if you use if you use a testing tool testing kit yenye iko na corona na unapima corona si utapata corona yep. yeah Ata kama, and that, but the problem is the testing tool you're using mm-hmm. now that's the problem with us today we are not able to test our feelings 
we are, people are not able to test because the, the testing tool you to me any knowledge mm. what you know what you know what do you know what you know is what you are using to test whether your feelings are genuine mm. utajua kama ni now so why are you testing so that your love will be sincere and intelligent so there is a love that is not sincere it is not intelligent aina kisomo not sentimental gush you know sentimental gush is when you act out of excessive emotion quickly pa 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 one day nilienda high nilikuwa nilifuniliza wanafunzi wengine wa form 4 by the way mnajua gaje i was a teacher unajua gaje mtu ukipenda mtu nilisikia now it's like ni feeling like nakuja now those guys were real yeah. those guys were real yeah. yani ukiona mtu alafu unasikia ni kama hai mm. kuna vile ni kama tumbo imeshikana na moyo ni kama vile unasikia kwa tumbo ndo unafaa kusikia kwa moyo dengunyere yeah. 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 that, that is the word <laughs> yes yeah. that, that is the word yeah. so you see okay. if you don't use your head to test your feelings you'll end up in a sincere kind of love you'll end up in an intelligent one which is a sentimental gush but the bible says you should live a lover's life that is circumspect and exemplary mm. a life jesus will be proud of a love that is circumspect then that's where i'll close uh, on this point it is so clear circumspect circumspect means considering all facts mm-hmm. so kama wewe una consider tu aki nime feel kama nimevutiwa tu that is only one factor mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na mimi mtanizama here because mimi this is what i tell uh, young people tuacha kupendana ki high school mhm Okay. Because the Bible, <laughs> form one. A, a key form one. <laughs> and by the way that is why the Bible says love never fails. Why are you realizing many many relationships are failing today? Mm. Marriages are failing. It's because pale kwa courtship na dating juu kuna ingia watu wenye wajie. Leo hata wajui courtship na wajui dating ni nini. Wanaingia tu kisaik na rende. Mm. But this is the point. The Bible says when I was a child I spoke like a child. Yeah. I understood like a child mm. and I thought like a child. Mm. But now I'm a man. Mm-hmm. Now what does it mean? What the evidence of your transition is the way you talk about something. Mm-hmm. Kama nataka ni juu umetransit hapa socially the way you relate with people. Nataka ni juu vile ulikuwa unaongea kuhusu issue ukiwa high school. Vile ulikuwa unaifikiri ukiwa high school. Vile ulikuwa una understand ukiwa high school. High school ulikuwa unapata leo leo ni askia tu sina goosebump. I mean nisiweke filter sana. Mm-hmm. A lady lugha high school Madam kwanza wale wenye zao hazikuwa gatite akipiga rinda ulikuwa una jamaa ameenda tu hivi mm. na anaanza kusikia hizo gunyerere hiyo peke yake imemwambia fuata mm-hmm. because of chenye ameona mm. yeah. number two, jamaa mwenye atakubaya maembe mingi ukienda nyumbani i mean jamaa mwenye atakubondesha sana yeah ama maendeleo pale center <laughs> kuna bigari ya maendeleo tulikuwa tunabai <laughs> maendeleo so the guy that bondeshes you yeah. more like yeah. huyo ndio yeye yeah. so high school ilikuwa who will love you much mm-hmm. you don't care anything so you realize the same understanding we had before we have not changed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the same way we used to think about love in high school the same way the same perception the same perception nothing has changed mm-hmm. so you realize the bible says how much darkness do you have If I told the light in you is darkness in other words yeah. how wrong you are how wrong how wrong are you if I told even what you think is right is still wrong yeah. that's what's happening with our generation yeah. Yeah. so unakuta in high school ilikuwa mwenye atakupenda sana mm. ukipata jamaa kona simu huyo ah. ndio ai si ndio hii saa hii yeah. mwenye akona gari ndio unaendea peke yake mm-hmm. si ndio hii saa hii jamaa mwenye atakubondesha kubaya kila kitu so you realize chenye tumefanya tume upgrade tu chenye wase wa high school hawako wanaweza kufanya mm-hmm. sasa hawa wengine wanafanya but the, the thinking is the same the same that's why it's failing mm-hmm. ndio unasikia tunaongea tu kuhusu dating enda huyo enda huyo and that's where today the love yenye iko mimi naweza kaita fish love Mm-hmm. The fish love. Mm-hmm. And we are ending up okay. we are we are falling into monkeys instead of men. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now fish love is like this. Do you love fish? A lot. Me. Ah, uh-uh, let me come to you. Uh, you love fish. Sana. <laughs> Now you you are still... You love fish. But you're the same person when you naenda na net na umeiwekea hook. Na umeiwekea ka kitu tu kanyama ka kuidanganyilia ndo ui hook uitoe penye nafakwa. Because if you loved it you have left it there. It thrives because fish thrives in water. So ni zionange ni nafurahia. Yes. Why do you love it? Let's see. Let's see. because it's not fish you love it's what it has. 
because mwisho unaiachaga na mifupa na unatupa <laughs> but look at it look at it and these are many people yeah. are suffering yeah. now um, and i like I, I like this now uh, I, I read this uh, by by uh, uh, Ivlad. now he says you are the same person that will hook it uitoe so you still have fish wewe ndo utaigwara because scales ni ndio beauty of fish yeah ndio yeah. kugwara you still have i love fish hata uwekagi kwa maji moto mafuta moto yeah you still love fish you still love fish sasa enda enda ukule unatoa nyama what you like mifupa kando now look at it as a skeleton today we have many ladies and gentlemen tukiwangalia wanakaa skeleton i mean stressed depressed because of relationships why they didn't take time there's a general rule because they were loved ah they, they don't even know what love is because it has been defined by nowadays so popular kwanza zime to define what love is lakini unjua hiyo ni 1 2 3 action play mm-hmm. in real life mm-hmm. now wh- what the problem with the monkeys monkey ni ile yenye inatafuta tu the, the tree yenye inaweza jishikilia ikikuwa wiki inaruka kwa nyingine mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. you know people people na kama tu tungeni ukweli even our generation today because umeniona vile mimi na mpoa wangu si tunaenda mpoa na mpama na tuna mtaito din na kila kitu simply because you saw me with them and, and most of the guys chenye kinawasumbua ni sexual drive yeah mm-hmm. lakini msikilizaji niangalie tu ukweli hata ukisema ya kwamba uh, badala niombake maji kwa barabara wacha niweke tank kwa nyumba mhm ndio ni sikuwa na kunywa maji kwa barabara. Mm. The point ni unless you develop self control ya kwamba sitakuwa na kunywa maji kwa barabara ndio ni kunywa ya nyumbani. Haujasaidia. Mm. So some are taking husband wife nyumbani ni kama kuweka tanki ya sex. Yeah. Now you, we, we are not ashamed of talking about sex because mm. when we shy off from talking about these things the world is talking about them. Mm. And in a very way. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna kitabu wa Apostle Mike anaitwa Sinus Cancer anasema we should not shy off mm. from speaking the, about these things. So ni kama tunaweka tanki ya sex kwa nyumba ndio it is really ukukanukano. Lakini uliza hata wana mwenye wameoa si ndio mimi hapa i'll be vulnerable enough kusema kuna wakati napita kwa bara nani meoa mm. lovely lovable loving lady hallelujah mm-hmm. lakini kuna wakati napita tu kwa barabara alafu nasikia kisauti na uko nyuma na mmepitana na madam wewe hata uko tu hapa hivi unafikiria tu bingu bingu because anataka nikiomba kwa barabara mm. unasikia na nikedhaka mhm nikedhaka I'm, I'm saying how, how it came. Na huko shughuli zako ni kama shughuli zangu. Ni kama vile una scroll league tu kwa internet alafu tu ad tunaanza kukuja. Mm. Sasa shetani ameleta ka, ka dot ad. Unajua mm. kifikuna mimi yeah. nafikiria kama vizuri alafu kuna kuja yeah. mafikiri mengine yakaa ni kama yeah. ad za shetani. Yeah. Kwa sio break ya mapepo. <laughs> Ndio hiyo sasa. Yeah. Sasa yeah. that is to say I was supposed to start looking nigga the kaku. Mm. Ah. That is when they turn. Mm. So if I turn already I'm hooked. Ah. If I turn, that's what unaga wakitani hivyo. Unasema nigeza ka. So na ukiona nigeza ka, what will you see? Her behinds. Mhm. Aki can't walk. Yeah. So what do you think it's coming to me? Already hapo. Yeah. Tegemea last imeingia. Mm-hmm. So kwa barabara I'll go checking on every on every mm-hmm. because it's something that has already entered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where people get it wrong. So for me when it comes, for me when, the first time it came, nigeza ka before i turned because i was about to turn mm. now you are doing that innocently yeah. something came no way i began telling myself oh my the kaewa kwa the most beautiful is in my house, in my yeah. house. and and actually nikaanza kuleta picha yake kwa sura sasa mpaka naanza kusema yeye si unaona i began laughing smiling niko kwa barabara mm. because You see that because si nimeambiwa nige dhaka. Yeah. So I have to bring something else. Mm. Yeah. Kwangu sasa pia nionde. And that other ad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I have to keep perusing. Mm. Mm. Niendelee ku scroll na niweke yeah. chenye nataka. Mm. Yeah. So what are we saying? Today relationships are failing because Babilo lesema umeona mtu pap haujatumia time kufikiria naambiaga mtu kama unajua leo haiwezi isha kama ujapa, kama ujengea kwa relationship if you know 24 hours cannot end without a relationship take 23 hours to study in depth ujua what you are getting into hmm. usiingie blindly yeah. otherwise ukiingia blindly utatoka ukiwa blind yeah. properly na yeah. marriage kama kama love is blind marriage is an eye opener yeah eh yeah. hmm. yeah, kama la <laughs> 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 
I'll simply put it this way. Okay. We have a mimi this is how I'll simply describe so na siata yeso na describe what we like in this generation at ni kama watoto wenye wanaambiana tulicheze tuliwachezea za harusi ya mkuimba za mazishi ya mkulia sasa mimi one of the ways i can describe my generation it's a generation that is zealous without knowledge zealous without knowledge minus knowledge yes zeal i mean hawa watu wakiamua so nasikia mpaka wako na majina lombotov yeah ndio waweke uzito kuambia i can love you So yeah. when these guys when they get into something they get it full force yeah. but knowledge zero zero mm. so ata akili yao na kitu ya kutest mm-hmm. yeah. well, the head is yeah. full of wrong knowledge mm. yeah you see that so one of the gaps that is identified today is the knowledge gap knowledge. so such a show is very key mm. very key yeah. and i tend to agree with you because nowadays uh, you, you have seen it everyone here has seen it mm. uh, kwa social media even how some celebrities are coming out and saying mm-hmm. my marriage lasted for yeah. six months mm-hmm. mine lasted for ni kama kuna mashindano ni gani ilikuwa short you know yeah. and nowadays people is like they're finding pride in that yako yako ilikuwa six months oh mine was only three months let me ah oh, three months yo mine was two weeks in fact, you know after your two weeks immediately i got into another one yeah i got into another one who loves me and becoming, all that it's becoming like it's the uh, new norm so the zeal but knowledge is no. missing no. now let's talk about this individual who has spotted this lady mm. kwa c h u r c h kanisa church mm. and of course sasa kama age imefika kwenye sasa una feel kabisa eh. you know dini na kila kitu unaanza kuona i want mm. to be a family man yeah. and you have seen this lady who is also now nini and all that mm. na mumeongea you know after some time you have taken your time mm. somana and then she says yes I think we can. Hiyo yes. Mm. Oh, tunataka kuchukua group break. Hiyo eh? hiyo yeah. yes yeah. hakuichuku. Haika hakuisemea kwa service. Mm. Kiomba. Hapana, <laughs> si kweli. Eh. Hakusemea hapa. Eh. Hakusemea kwa service. Mm-hmm. Now, tunataka kuangalia how does watu ambao a young person a young person eh? how are they supposed mm. to do the dating or the courtship in a way mm that does not seem like they are already seen it yeah. oh yeah. where do they meet how frequent should it be so those are some of the things to do from this break mm. we wanted to address <laughs> to do how hapo ndio maneno iko and also uh, what are the boundaries okay. yes what are the boundaries uh, okay um, even within the standard of the church mm. as we now know mm. and uh, of course as the young people as you've said the young people are now very zealous mm. they can do they can do everything they can go to every height just to show you mm. I, I i am sure of this yeah. Yeah. So where do you draw the line between being so zealous and uh, still staying at the lane of salvation and still yeah. loving Christ? Yeah. Okay. So when you are people don't draw line. Okay. So that's that's very very important. And also I think you should touch on nini ni zinatakana kufanya during the dating period. <laughs> mm. Because again apart oh, yeah. from going to those dates mm. and blah 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 mm. because as you said story ya samaki. Mm. Utapenda let me just test it. Kido utapenda samaki. Mm. But sasa wewe kula samaki daily 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 daily. Mm. During this dating period. Eh. <laughs> During this dating period. <laughs> what? Are Na float. You? Nime float hiyo <laughs> statement. I'm floating. Niko kale kitu kanito kanini? What? <laughs> Buffer. Yes. Buffer. What is supposed to do because now there is where many people, even Christians, even believers, mm. they now go wrong because mm. generally nita tulikunya coffee leo blah 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 coffee tena ah wey nai so Kuna let's go for nini? that very short mm. break and then we'll be coming Miwa. back because you told you kabichi hapa kutawaka it's ready <laughs> tunapepetea now let's go for that very Uji. short break and then <laughs> uji power <laughs> inasave <save> kwanza <laughs> let's go for a very right. short break and then we'll be coming right back <laughs> MBCI Television Transforming Lives <laughs> Kamilisha medali ngombe akivunjika gu Aiunganishwe A- tena Ha eh? aiunganishwe tena Nipatie <laughs> spelling ya neno adjournment 
H A. What is that? H A R D C H M E N. Nani ali meza samaki na lkuwa nenda wapi? Ai na na. Ai na na. Niko na tank twister, utarudia mara tatu, mara tatu bila kustop, inenda hivi, jack chunk junk, jack chunk junk, rudia mara tatu mbio mbio tuende, track chang chang, track chang chang, track chang chang. Hei, na hivi tu buwana ume toa hapi? Next on. Utakuja. Jumatano next week Ndiyo tuonge hiyo maneno ya education yako vile utaenda shule ingine Sawa sawa Tutakutana nitakuambia pali tutakutana Yus Yus Sasa vijano wamemaliza kupaku Sasa mume kutiana wati Kwa kila kitu Sasa kitu wa kitu mtali Suendi uko na ufungu madam Sigari tumeyacha hapa tu saizi Usini urize gari kwa sababu Usini nani yako na ufungu ya gari Hapana tumepaku gari mezuri hapa Pamoja na tumengia na wewe hapa ndani Kwa ni gari meenda Yes, yes, there's no problem But gari ufungu nani yako na Hapana My baby can't do that Please Kawana umewenye tuko na ofi You have been my friend for a long time But this is too much, no Hakuna regret Haku mabongo Chini ya maji Ao Buda, unanaji yu moti, uta yiko fiti mbaya Lakini sulisemu wezi nunuwa dinga before ujenge Sao utaipaku wapi? Antaipaku kutu, ube nisha ndu upload, ya ni naza kujenga Wa? Buda, nebu ni chanue Welcome to the Delight Nakuru Brought to you by Username Investments Perfect for your dream home Investment for holiday home Going only for 799,000 shillings For an eighth of an acre There's borehole water, estate gate Graded access roads, electricity And proximity to modern high-end schools Hospitals and other social amenities SMS Nakuru to 20321 Or call 0725-000222 Time to relinquish your sins and meet deliverance in the air. When you enter into a new month, as Bishop George Gishana of Deliverance Church Eldering, you must program that month through prayer. Is back on your screens. Lift up your hands and worship the Lord as loud as you can. Starting Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Be faithful. And repeats of the sermons every Friday at 6 p.m. Stay connected. Starting Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Only on MBC ITV. Transforming Lives. To get the song Gina La Yesu by Rosemary Njagi featuring Rose Mohando, dial star 811 star 285 hash now. Star 811 star 285 hash now. MBCI Television, transforming lives. We are back after that very, 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 very short break. And now we are here for this conversation to Kapana Pastor Benjamin, and we are talking about courtship. That when we were dating, in Atakana, it is, yet it should, it is an ingredient, yeah, courtship. And now that is what we are talking about today. 
Tulikuwa tumeenda break as we were talking about uh, what are the do's and the don'ts, what are some of the things that you can do the dating session, and also, Kamita Koliza, about this lady and this guy, ambao mepatana pale kanisani, and uh, after that, they've gone for a date, blah, 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 and the lady amekubali. So after that, what happens? Yeah. Why does it, my question is actually this, and I'm going to ask it the way it is. Mm. Why does it that some born-again Christians, once probably they find you seated in a hotel, having lunch, they already have that perception, like, I don't know, after mkitoka was jumu nenda wapi, why do we have such people? And I think these, these are the people that are scaring away young people, ambao wako kwa kanisani, even to really meet in, you know, kwa public place because mtu anakuangalia, na buwana zifuye nya, anakuambia ni ya, I know what you're doing. Like, what can we do in a hotel, seated down, as we are having lunch? Is it wrong? Is it a sin? Wow, that's a good one. Na kamete, nikubele ni hook, mali ulisema, even the rich guys ni kama wanashindana nani ya meka along. Unukubali ya just highlight something and say there. Maturity, financial maturity or maturity in one thing is not an indication that you have matured in all other areas. Because there is financial maturity, there is academic actually talk about it in terms of transition. Financially, socially, spiritually, yungine ni gani? Na academically. So the fact that napata first class in campus, yu kusema napata first class in marriage. Vile nashikanisha vitabu, yu kumanisha nashikanisha vishu za marriage. Ivo, ivo. Uko ni gradu natafuta. Uko, it's a whole different thing. That ni kona bidia kutafuta do, suya ti ni kona bidia kujenga boma. After all, lao ndo unakutaga mseki kina umana, jua kona pesa natafuta mwingine, jua najua atawezana. You see that? So the fact that I can legida go shakata ya duka shida bu, actually is not affecting. I'm speaking in tongues. You know when it is in you, you can speak in it in the midst of a conversation. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I burst in tongues and I'm very spiritual doesn't mean that my marriage will be heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. mm. Doesn't mean that I've matured socially. Mm. And the fact that I know how to relate with people doesn't mean now I'm fine financially even if I mm. And that's when to ingia po badet on behind. That is where courtship in a kuaga po mu sedi ana vitu kama hizo. Asa kujia kwa huyu mafarisa yo bado wako. The Pharisees are there. But I think this one is something that should be taught both to the parents and these young ones that are now dating. Mm. I think it's something that should be captured by all. And you know, Rosho is followed by all. Yeah. And allow me to say this. Mm. Number one, we need to know what our responsibility is, yeah. even as parents. We need to know how far we can go. Mm. How far we can go. We are. Some things have come behind us. Mm -hmm. In other words, the generation we are in today is not the generation that when you see a boy get married or yeah. get married. Mm -hmm. Men, a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Let me say, when you see two young people mm -hmm. together, sisi kuzenyu vile mluko muna muna da wadanganya na siku wadanganya. It helped them that unezukashika mimba just by physical contact. You see that? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was a knowledge. Sujuka mwe baru ndo ilikuwa dark period. Enzi za giza in terms of knowledge. Yeah. You see? Mm. Now, how mm. akuwa na hotel is a squeezy. Sure. How uh, akuwa na hotel is a squeezy. Mm. Ata maweza nyonwa natu barambara vila. Atu kuwa. Mm. Atu, na ile knowledge nye kwa haikuwa. Mm -hmm. TV za, TV za mzazi ndo tunatumia kuwatch soap opera. Mm. Na za kikuyu zinaitagwa majina zingi stai kutaja. Zote ziko hapo. Tunatumia TV ya nani? So the same people have exposed us to the different things. With their same resources. Is that true? Yeah. Now, this is what we should tell starting with the parents, number one. There is only a far that you can go. And what far? How far can we go? Teach them what you need to teach them. Mm-hmm. And then watch them act the teaching. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you have taught them. You can't police them. Ah. You can't patrol them. Mm -hmm. Actually, that patrolling is what now brings the issue. Mm -hmm. So we are starting with the parents. Is that okay? Yeah. So 
let's teach them like we are doing right now we are talking to them mm. we are teaching them what ought to mm. because you said let's let's identify the tuangalie where is the problem because we may end up dealing with a problem that doesn't exist mm -hmm. you say the problem is the knowledge gap most of these parents don't teach their children sexuality mm -hmm. And those ones who shy from it are the ones when they see them, blah, blah, blah. No, no, the generation that we are in, can we help the parents a little bit? Yeah. The generation we are in is a very inquisitive generation. Mm -hmm. Maybe I call it the why not generation. Mm. Mm. The why and why not generation. You tell them something, our new one, come, let us reason together. Mm. Mm. That's our generation. Yeah. Come, let us reason together. So, you know, you know, if you know, you know, you know, you know, why? Shida mm -hmm. yeah. Because I'm scared to be honest. My telephone is on my pillow. I'm about to go to the apostle to be honest. marifa. Na mara mingi unakuta wana naongezeka na marifa mbao siyo 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 mazuri. Mm. So the generation that we're in now, the generation ya nikikuja sa ini kuambi e manze iyo song si poa. Why? But she died happy. Mm. So in Africa, Mahali, because when you are dealing with Vijana, to Kubaliane, they say you need to trust God. So a very simple way. So manuli za wai, nta kuliza tu. So umyokoka. So I only get you with a hook mm -hmm. because you now want us to deal na intellect. So not mm -hmm. to deal na reasoning. Mm -hmm. So what that fikia na hapo na to kamate. Mm -hmm. So unakuta Paul reasoned with them, mm -hmm. with the scriptures. So what are reasoning? So nambia gamtu. Eh, kama God ange kuwa DJ, unge mambia kuchaza yoy song umepunguza maneno uh, yeah umepunguza maneno because god hayuko after video uta, uta dance god sio dj angoje kulipo pale mhm mm hapana hiyo simu yako umeweka this and this so nataka atembee si nasema ameokoka a very simple question hiyo simu yako ingekuwa ya mungu kila kitu yenyewe hapo ingekuwa <laughs> no actually very simple questions now because unauliza sasa what is it that god will consider so that is our generation mm. so wazazi we need to sit down with our generation na mkubali kujia quint na knowledge ya sai mkubali kujua what is happening because if you don't if you're not in touch with what is happening at a relevance kwa mtoto itakosa mm. that's why watoto hawaambi hawa wazazi wa mambo mengine mm. because the parents still want to police and be the soldier like yeah. the parents that still have their children today ni wale wenye ni friends mm -hmm. na wacha wazazi tuwasaidie ndio unaona kama mtoto anakuja na kudondolea story yake kama mind anakupatia kama ndika moja mm. guy ate umefanya nini eh no mm. sasa hizo wamekudondolea tu moja ndio naona kama anaweza kuambia na ushafanya mm. yeah? yes Anajua. i met a parent the other day a very good friend of mine she is so friendly with the kids even the girl the, the guys watoto wake wako campus imagine baka anaambia hey by the mom kuna jamaa tumekuwa tukiwa pamoja kwa hivi na lakini nasikia ni kwa attracted i don't know mpaka nashindwa how imagine i love that imagine Trust. and then the mom is like um daughter don't worry this and that this and that blah 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 mm -hmm. you see that yeah. now the guy amejipata kwa hook flani anapigia mad mom aish mm -hmm. i love that mm -hmm. Because you know, mom will reason with me, yeah. won't judge me. Nice generation ya, ya kujajiwa. Mm. This is not a generation at wewe. Tafadhali, the pharisaic mentality to watch, especially in church. Mm. The pharisaic mentality should end. Wale wa, I caught them in the act. Mm. I, yeah. I caught them in the hotel. Mm. Mm. Ata walikuwa meketi. Sini? Sasa. Exactly. In Sipping fact. coffee. Huh? Ah. By the way, when you see Ninge ya. Ninge waji. Eh. Kama si hivi. Tough test true. <laughs> on a light note yeah but, but sasa so wazazi tukubaliane and when you see them together mm. by the way hapo kwenye mnawaona appreciate them yeah eh awe ni wanakuja peupe kwenye wanaonekana eh, na tunaongea kuhusu watu wenye wako courtship na intention ya marriage yeah. Sindio? That should be clear. Eh, so tumeanza na wazazi because of a reason. Mm. So wazazi tukubaliane, our responsibility is to sit with them, teach them, 
let the elderly teach mm -hmm. the younger ones. Nani ndo aliambiwa ni Titus. Teach the younger ones chastity and all that. Like ni kuna mali penye Paul aliambia aliambia hata kina Timothy na Titus mkuwa mkiwaangalia na kuchungulia kila mahali mnaenda na mnawekea CCTV. No mm -hmm. way. No way. It still comes to the point ya ya trust. Tunataka ku na unajua generation yetu kwa sahii ni ile ya anataka si kama kitambo yenye ulikuwa unaonekana ukiwa mtoto mpaka ukiwa sijui je gani yeah. <laughs> unachaguliwa sijui nini nini and that no no way yeah. saa hii mtoto wako 22 anataka kukuonyesha am am a grown up mm. um, mom si hata us si wanaoaga wanaolea wako wakiwa na 16 mm. am a grown up mm. so those are the people we are dealing with mm -hmm. na akikwambia sentence moja ujue yeah. The underlying center, the under, mm. behind mm. the full scope. They are saying yeah. uh, so. Yeah. I'm a kupati two headline. Yeah, do you want a response? Yako. Yeah, so we don't respond. Na yore mm. was as wengi the reaction. You know, reaction is quick, mm. reaction doesn't take time. Reaction hainaga reasoning, mm. reaction na kuaga vilo mefil to pop immediately. Nani very defensive. Yep. Lakin the response is given time mm. for you to respond. Una pega is emotions is settle. Yeah. Wewe waka. Siku moja nilikutana na certain lady akanambia, Pastor Benjamin, mtoto wangu ameniandikia message hapa ameniambia yeye ni gay. It's painful. But the first thing was, yes, yes, it's painful. Right? But the first thing in me I was like, wow, that one has come out clearly, openly. Kuliko siku nyongeletewa jamaa hapo mamu na kuletea na kuletea mtu wangu. Yeah. So you have known it earlier. Mm. So first of all I was like, mm, it's well, it's well mama. Then I took her now to the point here. Now we know we can cab it. Mm -hmm. We thank God it has come out clearly. You see that? We can be a nose deribu could take nose deribu kuenda at kumpigia kelele. Oh, that is it. Skumoja ni meletua mtoto wapa hivya ti kasenya karasema ni lesbian. Mama nakuja, uyu wakona pepo, zishindwe, pasta zikeme. Mambia, mam, ebu tupe two time kidogo. Tukakaa hapa unamistana wana wa. Yeah? And I can be nana kuelezea vizuri, vizuri, vizuri everything. I thank God. I believe there are there are changes that are going on. Mm. So you know generation to kona. So wazazi, please, there is the far that you can go. Mm. Teach me. Yeah. Don't judge me. Uh, you are role is teach us yeah. and when you see us going wrong, going wrong correct us yeah. mm -hmm. young people be ready to be corrected mm -hmm. that is it now mm -hmm. we come to the young people mm -hmm. and the, the parents as well generation nyetu ko sili akemeati na wewe hiyo pepo iko ndani yako hapana please because unasikia hadi wale mzazi anakuja pastor huyu mtoto wako na pepo na muambie kitu asiki hapana saa zingine ni vitu kwa mingi zenye anajua sasa wewe ndo muambie kitu mzuri haingi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so please parents and if you know Kabisa, you can't correct. Look for someone, someone seek counsel, and sure. how to go about yeah. it. The same thing in church. Si tumuko tu kifunzo. Si pastor meko kifunzan. Kama muko na youth church. Si bado na funzo. Let's now give them time to. If at all, the it is better when you see them practicing what you have taught them publicly, mm. because. Tukiwa njima hiyo, mm. wataenda behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. in the secret. Na hiyo, in the secret, yeah, the secret mm. things happen. Yeah. Uh, secret things happen. Alafu kute, kama hapa kutu wanauliza kwa very simple. Since we have a way of catching them, situ muafunza, mm. then there's another hook tunakia gamu tupale mbele. And I like it the way it's done here. After umekuja, unambia kwa, angalia kanisa. Waambie kama ndo wa hii ni takatifu. Takatif. Mm. My friend hapu kidanganyana. Yeah. That's your... Mm. We have been taught. Mm. So to my kwambia and sasa. Now to the to the very person sasa. Mm. Si tumonge kusu the parents. Yeah, now these two. Now these two mm -hmm. see what to what when you wanna do it in your tumasema. Somebody help me a canambe. Benjamin, if you win yourself, you will win many people. Yeah. If you win yourself, you will win many people. Sometimes winning yourself is <laughs> as simple as iki to niet visua will. Mm-hmm. Sisi do tunajua kwenye tunaelekea. Mm -hmm. After all, if you are talking about dating and courtship in a godly way, the key focus should be God, mm. not man. Yeah. So, ata, despite the pressure at you, watu anatuangalia, you are cheneni nayo, angalie ni juu. Because the fear of God means even when you're not seeing me. Yeah. I want a God-fearing lady. I want a God-fearing lady. Now, what do you God-fearing in a manisha, uyu mtu atapata opportunity. Mm. Na hata ifanya 
It's not because I fear my wife, that's why I won't cheat on her. Yeah. Apana, it's not because I fear her. It's because you fear God. Ah, yes. Opportunity ni mingi kama ni opportunity. Yeah. Si hata utapita pale hivi na wako wapo wameka tu hapo hivi. It's not how I fear. Mm -hmm. I fear God. That was the secret of Joseph. Mm -hmm. So fearing God is not singing. Mm -hmm. It's not carrying a big yeah. Bible. And that Bible is not in, in you. Mm -hmm. Or wearing an African shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> na suti na shamshuta kama zangu kwa wengine yeah. no yeah. fearing god is huyu mtu kuna vitu wezi akafanya because they fear god na the fear god ni kitu inaonekanaga mm -hmm. even in conversation mm -hmm. you will know mm -hmm. because it's part of character na character na kama mimba it will come out eh ficha ficha tu ficha tu ficha tu you know mnakaga mnaendaka mkiwa kwa matatu unasikia madam ako konda siku kuambia nashukia hapo fanya hivi nirudishe ama urudishe change my brother even ndivyo utatiritiwa kuna kitu kanachomokaga tu eh hata shetani tunasikia kati masquerade za ninja of light not forever ni kidogo tu alafu inatolewa eh unaona jamaa amekaa hapo ai kuna watu wameendea chakula Mombasa very hiyo impatience ndio itaingia huko huko tu i mean lakini na history at okay at guilty as charged you see ni impatient but now you are not you are not together ndio ujue huyu msee ndio umwache hapana ni msaidiane because marriage in marriage unajua nakuja hapo kwa hawa watu because the, the point i will nail ni kusema kuja unakuja eh ni kusema nitaambia vijana freedom comes with responsibility yes yeah. 100% yes freedom comes with responsibility okay. so and apostle has taught us here that freedom is not in what you do it is it, it is in what you can't do by choice uh, wow yes perfect definition okay, yes okay. mimi that definition i had never got in that so way. freedom is not in what you, you do ah uh, mimi anaweza kuja kwangu na kuwaga free you are a slave mm -hmm. to last especially ah huh. Ni kama ile kitabu ya Betro in the city mm. the inside of one place may outside, I was well be the outside of another yeah. wewe na mwenye huko jera tofauti ni yake ni physical yako ni yeah. spiritual yeah. <laughs> yeah you see that lakini tukuje hapa kwa marriage marriage the aim ya marriage is god brings people together for the purpose number one of becoming mm. of becoming two things are key in marriage becoming and having mm -hmm. so don't focus becoming is is you no know, god told me when i was marrying because i really wanted to know god am i just topping up kwa list yenu ameolewa kenya na niingie kwa hiyo list mm -hmm. <laughs> na dunia because nikamuliza why am i marrying yeah. number one he told me sasa tunataka tukuje kwa hawa because kwa hawa ndio tuambie it is responsibility yep, yep. pia naambia mzazi what these people need to know so god told me aliniuliza a very simple question um adam si nilimwambia nitampe helper eh kulikuwa na ngoza kuosha garden of eden mhm nyumba ya kuosha ndio ngoza pasi ndio pasi chakula za kupika token bills eh do you see that yeah so he was more for divine helper than a physical helper These are the things that compliments. Mm -hmm. That's why as a man if you see a man helping the wife don't blame them. Yeah. Because after all um, the major thing you should not fail as a woman. Ugali kuja ujifunze. Kupika. Chapo kuja ujifunze kupika. Tutasaidiana huko ujifunze kupika. But one of the things you should come prepared is I'm here to help this man become. Yeah. And in your process of helping the man become your becoming is there. Ah yeah. Oh, okay. Right. You see that it's mm. submission submitting to a man with a mission mm. it's like just take the let's not go far our father okay. in the lord and our mom you've you've had the story of how mom our mom reverend has supported apostle it's it's on the air he has said it is that not true mm. in the process of her doing that look at her mm -hmm. her voice in our generation mm. to god's glory yeah. are you seeing that mm. so <clears throat> So submission is a whole it's something that should be understood. Na nakuta mtu anataka kuja kuolewa. Na ajui submission ni jamaa anataka madam akuje asabi. Na ajui submission ni nini. Those are the people we have. Yeah. So submission nafikiria ni nikisema hivi nikiekelea nini hapa hivi niletee chai nipemba kana stro. They think that is that doing everything like mm -mm, until the manipulation comes in. No way. So I told God no none of them were there so go to the number one thing your wife should know is what I have shown you concerning your future
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that when she's preparing and praying for herself, she's praying for herself towards this direction. Yeah. Do you know why the courtships go wrong? Mm -hmm. It's when people are thinking of what they are missing out instead of what they are preparing for. Hey, hey. Ati? Yes. <laughs> They're thinking of what they are missing out uh -huh. instead of what they are preparing for. Okay. I keep missing out on kisses. I'm missing out on hugs. Oh. I'm missing out on blah, 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 blah. They, they are thinking about what they are missing, the fun they are missing. Mm. But not what they, what they are preparing, they are preparing for. for. Thank you. If only your focus could be on what are we preparing for. Oh, my. Hey. Oh my. Okay. Sasa, when you know when when you are only thinking about you are missing out, you may end up reading a book. You may end up picking a book, thinking it is thinking it is exciting, just to realize in a chapter ya musho. Mm. Chapter ya musho siliko nafikiria ni marriage exciting ukute haina. Yeah. <laughs> because your focus was on one thing, yeah. what you are missing out the fun. Mm -hmm. So siwe ujibambe tu. Lakini yom jibambo kumbe hujui. This jamani kama kitabu mwenye. Chapter ya mwisho hana. Hakuna. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Ilirarudiwa. Yeah. So I end up in marriage. I end up in marriage. Mm. Then you end up like that fish. Mm. That was love. But in a mifupa. Yes. And I loved how you've put submission. <sighs> that even for a man, he should know that submission from a woman is submitting to a man with a vision. With a, with a vision. And a mission. And a mission. And as you help him become, you are he becoming. Also. Become. also. Like not just a generation yet we call, we are, we are carried, we are, we are so much carried by having. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's a having in include resources. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ata madam lazima. Mm -hmm. Ata madam lazima. We are not under any these things, but they should understand us. Ata madam akuwe na job na salu iko very. Yeah. And yota at least nyumba tutajenga mara ya kwanza kwanza. Mm -hmm. Gari tutabai mara ya kwanza kwanza Na having bado inakuja Wanataka waende wa have children Because uliona pita Kuchu generation niko very funny Aliona jama flani yeah. Wameva outfit yeah. Nambaka mtoto wake So they are going there to have yeah. What is so? Lakini unakuta Mumengia vya tumbiri ya zifanani ya zifit mm -hmm. So wata hizo outfit Mutazionea kwa gazeti Yeah Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so unakuta this having the, the 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 aspect of having we are so much on what does she have especially materially mm. what does he have what does mm. and realize me your high school mm. what do I change perception yeah. 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 but if only you can consider tongali watu wenyu wame become wengi sio wengi walianza na having eh na hakuna kitu mzuri kama having kifuata becoming true Having it for time eh, because mukiwa na use of it, mukiwa musha have mm -hmm. na muna direction. Use of it to the court, 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 so, people are brought together because that family, how a total mumepewa because there is a becoming. Mm -hmm. Children are like arrows in the hands of a warrior. Yeah. Wewe unapatana tu na mtu mwenye mentality yake ya nini ni aki mimi mtoto wangu nitaanza kumweka rasta akiwa that's not a warrior. Yeah. That's not a warrior because a warrior means this is an arrow it has a target. Unasikia kila mtoto akona destiny because every arrow has a target. Lazima yeah. kuna mali unaishoot. Mm. So unaleta watoto Mungu amekuentrustia wa watoto. Mm. Na watu wacha na you are becoming sasa. The other thing is Mungu akaniuliza Na ndo nimesema hiyo, ukisikia tukisaidiana na, ukinikula mi tukisaidiana my wife, usini blame. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, bora, ananisaidia, tunasaidia na becoming. Mm -hmm. Ingine, tuna, bora nisiekewe timetable. Mm -hmm. So, watu wachi yako. So, ingine, tunasaidiana. <laughs> Sunona hata kwa Bible, sarando wanapika. Mm -hmm. Culture yetu inatusaidia wanaume, yeah. hapo ni sawa. Yeah. Hata viombo watupeni, nina, sijui kama ni nature. Tupeni hizi vitu kuzifanya sana. So, tukisaidia, tunafurayaga. Lakini, nisio kusema, that is why. If a man is marrying you, kisikia, aki mimi nguo sikuizi kufua. Mwache, hiyo ni kiwe, hiyo, hiyo ni uvivu. Mm -hmm. Apeleke nguo dobi. <laughs> Wait, Atio okay. viombo. Aende ya kurae kwa hoteli kama ni hivyo. <laughs> no, because we are getting the wrong. Ati you know mimi she is hard working and you share nguo. Huko ndo unaenda kukuosha nguo viombo. Munapika. And I will use a very heavy word here because it has, I've heard many stories at campus. Mm -hmm. Unaenda kati kuja unyesha viombo na munakula. Alafu bada huu unakuwa kitu ya. Ya. Yeah, Nimeachia yeah. hapo. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Sasa, God also told me, mm. I'm entrusting you with one of my daughters. Mm. Ay, that word is heavy. 
one of my daughters. Yes. Hmm. And I'm also entrusting you to her. You will change back up in a moment. Father, make me trustworthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. make. You see, make me trustworthy. Well, I mean, if. Eh, ni I mean, Nike. Because Babu, God is entrusting his relationship with her to me. Mm. Ash. Yeah. God is entrusting her destiny to me. Mm -hmm. God is entrusting her entering heaven mm. to me. And the same thing to her. Mm. That is why we say 12 people. Ni if you funge your party, even if you have Because, because, kwambia vijana, freedom comes with responsibility. Kama tuta sema tu hivo peke yake, aita tosha lazima tuwapatie i content iwaweke uzito. Ni ukiwa hapo ujue, mungu wa mentras purity ya huyu msichana kwako. So wata mkipatikana hapo ni njini. Right? Number two, God wa mentras relationship yake na huyu kwako. So tuluko tunanza na mawefu na mwanza ajita ya tukio ya fiancy na mwanza. Imagine leo to have sex. Ise mekanage, wewe ndi uliangusha Pastor Benja, wewe. Aha. Hii story ni serious. Yeah. Number two, ni kama umengia kwa story ya mungu ukatoa one of his tools. Ukaiba, ukajipe, na ukaharibu. Wewe ni kisiyagi utawekwa. Kama ambia the same thing na mimi. So up to that point, tunambiana sasa, sasa maidea, sasa, si tumiona hiki, tunimzito. Sasa tukubaliane, um, Si tunajua tukai sana, so let's agree. What are the boundaries? Where do we draw the boundaries? Mipaka. Yes, because wengine unawambia draw mipaka na wajua ya nini? For what? Yes, na hata tunaiweka wapi. And probably in a minute, because I know time is not together. I wish we had more time to talk about this. Imesha. Tell us, imagine. We only have like three minutes to wind up. So in two mm. minutes, tell us about Tukuna? the boundaries. Wow. These are discussions. Yeah. So tell us about the boundaries that should be there in court here. Because you say there are so many boundaries. Because in time kido go to and then you get married. So please in like two minutes. Okay. Yes. No, okay. Bound boundaries the call around. Spiritual, social, mm. all around. Hanyo baka psychologically. Yeah. Baka chie muna fikiria. Mm. Sasa, hii maneno inendake kiumanaga pole pole musipochunga. Lakini one of the statement I wouldn't want to miss. Hii mm. ndo itakupatia where. Because tulisikia so, 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 loving appropriately. Yeah. Ni kumanisha, you want to please God. Mm. Think about what is it that God doesn't like. What are the warnings he has given in, the word, in his word. Ladies and gentlemen, planning to get into this thing called dating and courtship or you are there listen don't trust your brakes brakes are because naka hand break watch and it yeah when it comes to things to do with sexual attraction things to do with sexuality it was a mini break zack and it come a hand break now your hand break in a zack one done in a bad dog in a hand Become a handbrake. Mm. We better say the truth. Yeah. I told my wife, I, I, I wish I would, would have time to pay my experience. Mimi, I, I don't regret about our courtship. Mm. my friends, you're easy. If only you were to say the truth. Well, you know me as a pastor. Mm. But please, please, when I'm strong, when you are weak, let me be, I'll be strong for you. When I'm weak, be strong. Please, I love you. This is not a fellowship. I love you. It's a relationship. We love each other. So when we meet in a place, there is a time we could talk on phone. There is a time we could talk on phone. There is a time we could talk on phone. conversation ikipita hapa. Kita umana. So we had agreed. Okisikia ni mekwambia good night. Ujue ni mefika boiling point. Na ni stai stai kukuboilia. So kila mtu walale. Kila mtu walale. Na sasa, every day, lazima tungeomba. Na mnajua kama munafaa kuomba, kiki umana munambia naga. We omba. We omba. We omba. We omba. We omba. We omba tu. We omba tu. We omba tu. Aka yomba. So, tuvingine very simple. Very simple. So, I think inanza conversation. Inanza where you guys are. Wacha ni kujipata ati kwa nyumba mkiwa wawili. Wacha na hizi mvitu na shinda tukiona uku hivi. Right? Ati yata nyumba nye mnaenda kuishi mnaenda kuangalia mkiwa wawili. Wacha ni hizo story. Shetani anataka watuleka katon kamoja kachoklet. 
hizi chocolate za kukula hmm? juataki muenjoy kampuni because mm. pale mbele ni kampuni mnapewa mm. lakini mkienjoy kaka carton mtaka enjoy alafu kata interfere na appetite yenu kata haribu mpaka meno yeah. i will speak in parables mm. kata haribu ukienda huko mbele mm. hauta enjoy mm -hmm. so i think what i'll say is in simple terms because naweza ngashindwa kuelezea zote yeah. za conversation and all that na physical boundaries mm. na is of zote because kuna mtu anaza mm, he's kissing but tafadhali kama utaki kupanda kama utaki kupanda kwa kwa kama utaikuja hapa juu acha ukanyanga stay ya kwanza yeah. because mwanadamu anakuwa na ile aji ni kanyanga kwanza anataka ya pili mm. kama utaikukula hiyo asali iondoe tu hata ifunike usiangalie mm -hmm. you see that yeah. because hug mara ya kwanza oh, you know the hug ni kama salamu god bless you mm. strong yeah. ones yeah. let me talk to the weak ones at least sio <laughs> uh, sio hug hug ndio imefanya watu wamekuwa weak unasikia excuse mpaka nikapeka hiyo yeah. siku nyingine ni viruambi jamaa unataka naomba kwa mdomo na kwa imeletwa <laughs> it's happening like that misawa tu unajua tutaambiwa lana watu wanajifanya strong lakini mimi nita draw hiyo niwaambie break zenu ni kama hand break break na love is like a very steep ni steep man ni love inakaaga hivi love inakaaga hivi sasa wacha kuanza kuteremka wacha ku trust break zako kwa hiyo mteremko na unajua kabi sa yako ni handbrake so conversation wise yeah. sometimes even know what to discuss yeah. fikiria what you'll say mm. eh, before that eh, mkisikia kimekatalia mkisikia you start testing the drive before mkisikia mtaanza kuulizana gari itakuwa inaendeshwa je kabla mjapatiwa na mjapewa license na mjapewa kitaito d please muna pause <laughs> right na hapo usiogope na mkifa, mkingia marriage stories na kuwaka plain muna kuraga stories zo yeah. zo yeah. Yeah. so it's only here mm -hmm. and if you don't work on it hapo uko mbele kitaalibika okay. wow. so break zenu ni hand break na ni pinda that you said even in conversation <laughs> not yeah. only did yeah. even in conversation mm. so, so that back is leo can you put that just it was a story Please let's get to today's inspiration so that Tony and you can say did you ever Oh my god that was a good conversation right there hey, mm. I hope Mesquia I hope you are taking Hey still liko tu hapo When a train when a train goes through a tunnel it does not stop because the tunnel is dark so if a person in a dark situation you don't stop uh, you don't stop keep going. keep going for there is light at the <laughs> end of the tunnel Hashtag #blessed tuesday and then, yeah, today's, today's inspiration kesho ni meno Yeah. Come is my name. Tutakuwa tunapatana hapa Hi, my name is Kahungu. Thank you so much for tuning in. Pastor Benja ambia watu kwa heri. <laughs> kwa heri na naomba msisome na kununua vitabu zenye zina page ya mwisho ya marriage. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> amen chat say amen. Hey. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> And know the grace. Of of Jesus Christ. Christ. And the love, And the love of God. God. And, And the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Legal Tuesday, 10.30, Paul Kagi and Mangicho Mola. Mm. You'll be blessed. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you tomorrow, God willing.